and welcome to episode 37 of the Lincoln Youth Squad Legends series. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know that we've made it into League One. This is what's happened transfer-wise in our club. Shola Nars moved to Accrington for £350,000. Filio to Morecambe for £280,000. Then, mm, this is the big one. We brought in a player called Petras Bong. Great name. He came from a Turkish team, he is the Eto region. We gave the club 3.2 million plus Manzia, so it pushes the deal more up to that four million pound mark. Axelson moving to Barnet for just over half a million. We'll be playing in League One though, so that's great. And then the two free agents that were signed during the season review. Two Brazilians, a right back and a central defensive midfielder. I'm not too sure how much game time we're going to give these guys. Maybe we just sell them on as quickly as possible for a kind of a decent profit. The one player that we're really looking forward to, anybody who watched the preseason tournament, oh, Mama Weppa. So we have a serious issue. We brought in Bong, who's a striker. I don't want to put Castaneda on the wing. And we've also got Harvey Hull. So what do we do? Well, for the first time ever, we have changed the formation in Youth Squad Legends. It is now a 3-4-3 to try and fit everybody in. And my goodness, we are going to be in for one hell of a ride trying to defend against the legendary difficulty with the sliders on. So after being away a week, what kind of comments have you been leaving me? Castaneda won you the league in April. Way to break my heart. Ride the hobby horse to the Premier League! Where's the defence gone? Great save, one-on-one -on -one by... Kude, Cooper will mop up Lincoln City and Rochdale play out a nil-nil draw to start this season. Not a great start to the campaign, is it? Not in terms of entertainment value. Well, if that didn't take the sting out of the new season, this certainly will. It's the Carabao Cup. Ugh. We're at home against Cambridge. <coughs> oh dear. Excuse me. I think my nose is trying to tell you guys something. Maybe the fact that it beat semi-professional difficulty on a live stream yesterday. I can move the players with my hand, but I can only shoot and pass with my nose. Not gonna lie, I feel like I could do this on semi-pro. Forget PlayStation VR, this is the future, boys. Am I gonna try and save this with my nose? There you go. <laughs> Yes. I've scored with my nose. Probably better to move the controller towards my nose instead of knocking it like a pigeon. <laughs> Shut off. It's 2-1 Agrix and Stanley. That's semi-pro. That's the third difficulty up. What are these difficulties? What are they making? Soft yellow card from Weke Kingdom means that it's going to be very difficult to keep this defence organised. Now Latov Lovici's got a yellow card, but if we see the replay, we'll understand why. If you play it in slow motion, you can see the exact point where his testicle psych splits in half. Ready? Oh, right there. Right there. Yes. Meet the run. Yes, Ed Kelly with a turn and the finish. Ed Kelly. Yes. We've got a goal for this season, finally. Ed Kelly is our top goal scorer so far. Well done, mate. It's Luis Sandoval. Drops it to Vilho. This time we've scored. End of game. We are done. we got Joel Tawomi. Players running into the middle. Oh, Ed Kelly. Great goal, lads. Great goal. Ed Kelly scored twice. What a man. Magnussen delivers. It's Vilho. Wonderful first touch, as you expect, from Ilpo Vilho. It's full time, it's 4-0 to Lincoln City, and that's more like it. Maybe the 3-4-3 is the way to go. 3.65 million quid on the table from Nottingham Forest for the services of Leo Tawomi. Let's go 4.1. Apply, advance, submit. And okay, that's a deal. 4.1 million. So we did get a bit more 
than what was expected. With that money, we'll be able to sign everybody up on a new contract. Isn't that fabulous? Axelson makes up part of that five-man defence that Barnet have always rocked. He'll be in direct opposition to Petrus Bong, so good luck with that one. Lincoln City against Barnet, our second game of the League One season. Castaneda moving. It's Petrus Bong! A chance for Petrus Bong! Please! Petrus Bong has scored for Lincoln City! I don't have a chance, so I'll sing this song. We don't have a chance for Petrus Bong. <laughs> Totally improvised. Run, run, run. Petrus Bong against Axelson. There's only one winner. Petrus Bong is going in again. Petrus Bong has scored twice. Petrus Bong has scored twice. And immediately we have a different feeling around Lincoln. Thought Petrus Bong was going to be a complete flop. Crosses in. I'm totally outnumbered. Cool first puts it bottom corner. We've got a game on. Yuko, EK, flying. Still flying, Yuko EK, unstoppable Yuko EK! Yes! Welcome to Yuko EK's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko EK! Two Brazilians. Japan is unpopular. I am so lonely. Brindley into the box. No one's marking anybody. Genji! Genji makes it a five goal game before half time. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm a total idiot. That was just panic. And I've pressed square. This is definitely going to be a sending off. It's not a sending off. This is a nasty challenge by Jamie Phillips. No one can complain. Call first. Oh, Kude went the right way. But his magic from the first season stopping basically every single penalty is totally out the window now. 3-3 three, three this game. What a match. Charlie Green through the middle. It's Harvey Hall. It's 4-3. It's the 50th minute, lads. Seven goals. And we've got 40 minutes left. Tackle. Yeah, I don't care for bookings. I care for legs, broken legs. Culthurst has gone down once again. Oh, it's a straight red. It's a straight red for Peter Roberts. I'm going to have to mix it up now, try and find someone to play centre-back. Full-time in this crazy game of football. Petrus Bong finding his feet. I thought Axel's and height was going to be the talking point on how we broke through the Barnet defence. Not at all. Axelson was pretty good. Leo Tuomi sold 4.1 million. Now we've got a transfer offer in for Mark Brownell. He did a job for us when needed. He was played in the cup competitions. We'll say thank you now. We've got loads of centre-backs but in a time where we didn't have enough, he was a decent piece in the jigsaw. That's a fair offer. Straight on the valuation, Crew Alexandra happy, we're happy, Zacharias Carola's coming back for 1.7. This is an exciting prospect coming back for pennies. Kiroga wants £5.4,000 per week. Signing bonus of 78,000 appearances. If he makes 15 appearances, he gets an extra 89,000 quid. Except we brought in Zacharias Kiroga. Petrus Bong with his massive dong. Oh, Petrus Bong. Yeah, mm. It's 2018 and someone's gonna find the fence in that. And that concern is the reason why I've changed this segment. Ilpo Vilho, that man from Paltamo, I say. Haiku me now, because you're not from Japan. And therefore, it's not racial stereotyping of any sort. Please kill me. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, the not very offensive Ilpo Vilho. Why am I here? This is Yuko's segment, guys. I don't do haikus. EK needs a friend. I am so lonely. And they've taken my haikus away from me. The first game of this episode, we have Doncaster against Lincoln City. Petrus Bong, yes. Harvey Hall, out wide. Yuko EK, save. Petrus Bong is in the right place at the right time. There he is, scoring his third goal of the season. The Ilpo Vilho's let his man go, Blair. That's unbelievable finish by Blair. Doncaster have equalised. What a shot. Okay, Charlie Green's long shots. 
Oh! How has he not scored that? Casting Yader into the box. It's Emmanuel Hobby! Oh! Hits on the head with a sewer grate. Emmanuel Hobby. Is someone free on the. Why didn't we cover that man who was free? It's Doncaster 2, Lincoln City 1. Run, Yuko! Go! Yuko! EK! Is he quicker than this defender? Does it matter? Drill shot! Oh, no one's there! Nicely done, Harvey Hall! Get in, son! Mama Weppers ball has released him perfectly! Yuko EK having a great game, but still no goal! So many corner kicks! And we've not made one count yet! And I say yet! Oh, it's not in! De Silva at the back post! Oh, it's hit the face! I don't even know if that was going on target! Ah, Blair clears it. Blair's been excellent for Doncaster, scoring the goal. He's going off the field. This could be it, boys! Petrus Bong, Harvey Hall, let's go, Sandoval! Oh! Not enough from Mama Weppo! And Doncaster on the attack, tackled by Robinson! <laughs> Come on! It's a foul! Free kick to Doncaster! After they've given a foul, that is stupid decisions by the referee are gonna cost us this game! I can't believe it! Look at you, Koike! Look at you, Koike! Come on, boys! Fake shot! Inside! You, Koike! Have that! Come on! 3 all. We got a point from the last attack. But a point is not good enough. Latov Levici. Trying to find Rui Faru with that. Oh, it's pinpoint. Latov Levici and Zacharias Karoga have been pulling the strings. Ed Kelly feeds it to Joel Tuomi with the deflection. We've got the go ahead goal. It's 1 0 Lincoln City. Latov Levici. This time the other way. It's going to be Ollie Mason to chase it. And Ollie Mason gets the ball crossed in. Oh, Latov Levici. Stop with your madness. It's going to go backwards. Oh, Maya can read the game so well. Yes, I'm back. Megs by Ed Kelly. Look wide. Karoga feeds it to Ollie Mason. Oh, oh. Okay, some of these players definitely need to have a chance in the first team. I want to be like Ollie Mason. I want to do whatever Ollie Mason does, surrounded by gorgeous ladies. But it's me who wants his babies. Sunglasses have screwed me over. Oh, well, we are 2-1 up. It's the better of the two Nandalays who gets Blackpool back in this. Oh, and could equalize Maya again. Oh, Maya, I have my babies now. Great block there by Maya. Oh, Karoga shouldn't have touched it. Blackpool have it again. In the final third. Bad things are happening. Delfonso there for Blackpool. They've equalised with moments to go in the match. We have extra time now. And we've got players on the bench that can really make a difference. Like Yuko Ike. Come on, Maya. You got this. Oh, what a player. Oh, yes. Yuko Ike. Oh, he's done it again! Yuko Ike! Man, this formation releases the wingers so well! Wake me up before you go, go. Who needs Vitti when you got Yuko? Roberts has no legs. Cover the back post! Well done, Kude! I think running might have had that anyway. Lincoln City 3, Blackpool 2. I got an international management offer from Finland. That is perfect. Joel Leo Tuomi, Ilpo Vilho. We could actually do something with Finland. Hmm. I am going to accept. They want me to qualify for the World Cup and the Euros. Are you mad? That's a captain staying long term. Well, there's clearly a glitch in the game here because I don't have this amount of money and yet I'm still signing up these players. Like, it doesn't matter. The wage budget doesn't matter, you just sign them up. This makes zero sense, but I will totally take it. Yet another shocking patch by EA. 
I am signing up everybody even though I don't have the wage budget. Unbelievable. My current weekly wage is at £145,540. To put that into perspective, last year I did a football manager save with the Danish second division team called McKerbin. When we won the Champions League, our weekly wages were less than that. Final game this episode, we got Lincoln City against Burton Albion. Oh, Marvin Sordelli straight through. Burton Albion take an early lead. Uh, miscommunication between Harvey and, and Weke Kingdom. Oh, just a massive gap. Oh, no, Harvey Hall is offside. Petrus Bong into Vilho's path. Castaneda! Oh, excellent bullet header, top corner. 1-1, one, one. step over, this is going to be a shot, and it's easy for Kude in the end. Block out that pass, well done Mamo Epo. Here's Petrus Bong, wait for Yuko Ike, now then, three men to aim at, it's a ground pass to Castaneda, now Harvey Hall, beautiful work by Lincoln City, it's the Lincoln boys, making all the noise for Harvey Hall, for Harvey Hall. Yeah! Let's go! Yuko Ike! Petrus Bong, look at the counter attack that's happening now! Yuko Ike flying forward! Get it back! Play it to Harvey Hall! Oh! We still got it! Phil Ho! Oh! Karma? No! No! Oh, what a finish! Both teams are going for it! Only stoppage time remains! Two minutes of that! A foul being caught! Roberts has got a yellow card for nothing! Burton in the net for the home side! I'd check a trade trophy time, boys! More elusive than the Champions League! Ronnie Latov Lavici! Why did it take you so long to ready up that shot? It's a goal kick! That thing took no deflection! Oh, Rui Faria! has been allowed to run forward. Look at the momentum that Rui Faria is making and still he's not quick enough. Oh my, scout future star right there. What is this? Pain is, oh no, look at the, sweaty is available, yep. Shrewsbury are one nil up, that was coming. Why is the checker trade trophy so difficult? Yes, Zacharias Karoga has hit the post. Mayat should have this. The find Adakunde, that's it. Easy passing, out of danger, Zacharias Kiroga, look at the men we've got forward now, Ed Kelly, get yourself into gear, Rui, cross it in, oh, Rui Faria, what are you doing? Ed Kelly, good footwork, Ed Kelly trying to finish it in the opposite bottom corner, no! Rodman goes back to Nolan, make sure you're covering that wing, Rodman's laughing at us, Phillips has not got any kind of agility. And he's done well. Burnson's had to deal with one shot so far and let it into his net. Although, to be honest, I don't think Kude would have done any better. Go, go. Oh, look at the space that you're giving Hughes. Who's walking this kid? Oh, side netting. This is going very badly. Rodman is tearing me apart. It's, it's up to Faria to do some defending. Defensive master right there. Ed Kelly. Beautiful ball out to Ollie Mason. Needs players in the box. Get players in the box. Yes, no, a go go. Just the head of Ed Kelly, who is ready to put that top corner. Maya, skill pass. Zacharias Kiroga, hello. Magnuson doesn't want to run. Ollie Mason will. Ollie Mason scores. Great finish by Ollie Mason. Latov Lavici. We got Magnuson. He's on that. Magnuson. Why did you pass to Ed Lee when Magnuson was right there? And I aimed for Magnuson. What was all that about? Stefan Magnuson saved. It's Ollie Mason. Great skill. Flicks it in. It'll drop to Zacharias Kiroga. Good defending by Shrewsbury. Alert to the flick up. Let's go, boys. Oh shh. There's a big gaping hole in my defence. Well, I can't really blame anybody for what's just happened. That that was completely all my fault. Oh, run! Ollie Mason, run! You big stallion of a man! Yes, Ed Lee will switch it. It's a beautiful find. Ollie Mason, control. It's very nice. Ed Kelly has to turn. But we've still got this ball. Stefan Magnusson! It's gonna... Oh, it's rolled in. Yes, wonderful work by Lincoln City to get an equaliser. 
And it's another exhilarating game of football. Ed Kelly's gonna pressure. Good, good by Ed Kelly. That should be a yellow card. They're gonna put it into the corridor of uncertainty. Yes, yes! Ed Kelly's done that all on his own. Dropping it down to Stefan Magnussen. Second bite of the cherry. He scored a second for Lincoln City and we're in the lead for the first time. Come on! Not exactly where I aimed the free kick. I wanted it to be more close to the goalkeeper, but it worked out a treat. Magnussen with the flick up. That was disgusting. The animation right there. Magnussen is playing with the swagger. Find him. Look at Ed Kelly. Ah! Ed Kelly's finished like a proper striker. He's my default. He's my Jermaine default. There's another gaping hole. They, they are finding holes in... Oh my god. <laughs> it's been classified as an offside. That would have been the greatest own goal. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I feel sorry for Shrewsbury, but I guess the yeah, A is offside if the defender has had to make that challenge from someone that was offside, even though he didn't touch it. He did interfere with the play. Holly Mason. Beautiful. Zacharias Kiroga. Magnificent! Ed Kelly's trying to release Stefan Magnussen for the hat trick! Stefan Magnussen! How about that for a goal? Ed Lee has a sprained knee. Get on that rhyming hype. Ike Uko! That one from Tokyo! I say! Haiku me now. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. You get a contract, and you can get a contract, with cash we don't have. I matched with a girl on Tinder, her anthem was September by Earth, Wind and Fire. I said, suck your mum, she swiftly unmatched me. Worth it. My brain right now is saying these guys are way too committed to the channel. In my heart, I'm like, thank you very much. I like to tell myself that Yuko EK is funding the wage budget by selling off some of his best haikus. I think the formation is catching on, boys. Peterborough using a very similar tactic themselves. Themselves. Peterborough have got red socks. Red, so red socks? Like France? Red socks? Bro. Whoa! Oh, what the f- That's gotta be a red! He's took my knees out! Harvey Hall could have got a broken leg being out for- Well, his career might have been ended with that challenge. What's all this about? He's not even looking at the ball! What is Jamie Phillips doing? Marriott balling goal canoe. Great, Jamie Phillips just decided to have a little wonder. Why is he going forward? I didn't even ask him to move away from the ball. Oh, oh I hate everything. Harvey Hall, beautiful. Yuko Ike, fight into the box, boys. It's Yuko Ike. He doesn't need help because it's Yuko Ike. Wait me up. Before you go, go, who needs it anyway? You got Yuko. Very nice indeed, Yuko EK. Down the middle, look at Petrus Bong. Petrus Bong. Ooh, it's a similar goal to the Yuko EK one. Now we're in front. Everybody celebrating their brand spanking new contract. The club paying out over £100,000 a week in wages in League One. It's two all. No, it's not. Linesman flag is up. It's going to end two all. Great game. Peter Bro are going to be well up there by the end of the season. A trip to the Colchester Community Stadium. Where we face Colchester, obviously. An early corner kick for Lincoln City. This one swung in by Castaneda. It's Petrus Bone with a header into the post. And within two minutes, we have found the net. Waiting for that Petrus Bong run. Oh, Petrus Bong! He's a goal-scoring machine, lads. Petrus Bong. Yes, look at Harvey Hall's run. Harvey Hall makes it three. It's party time in Colchester. And the fans, well, the fans of the home team uh, leaving the stadium before the end of the first half. Let's go, Harvey. Yes, Harvey Hall chip. It's gonna. Oh, Walker nearly got done in by a chip from Harvey Hall. He tips it over the crossbar. 
But man, Colchester are in all sorts of trouble. What's off Lavici? He finds the top corner. Colchester are getting into it slightly. Harbo Big tackles. Ah. Barbosa scores for Colchester. And even with this dominance, we can't keep the clean sheet. Latov Lavici's there. Oh, there's got to be a clearance. What are you doing, Latov Lavici? Colchester are back in it. Go on, Harvey Hall. Oh, yourself, Harvey Hall. Oh, no. what on earth was that? Right, it's still 3 2 somehow. I got Zacharias Kiroga, who hasn't changed squad number just yet. I'll do that in the next episode. Joel Tawomi. Oh, Craig Cross. I think, yep, yeah, can't even collect it with Ollie Mason. Uh, yes. Go on, then. Yes. A botched throw in has gifted Lincoln the victory. It's Harley Hall's second. He celebrates in front of the home fans. Like, come and have some of this. Great game of football. Totally dominant, but yeah, it was still exciting because Colchester had about 30 minutes, most of it in that second half, where they just started knocking at the door. Eventually, it broke open. What if Frank Matip is the queen to the Uganda knuckles? Because he is the only one that knows the way. Oh god, my life is actually a meme. Transfer off in for Harvey Bailey going to Morecambe. £185,000, let's accept that. Even though it's September, and Morecambe could have done this beforehand and got their player about six months prior, but no, they'd rather wait till January. First game of the episode, Lincoln City against Shrewsbury. You're gonna save it, Kude, I believe in ya. Yes! No! Yes! Out you go! Super Cooper clears! We really need to settle down. Hughes for Shrewsbury. Yeah! Latov Lamigi! Go! Go! Am I even controlling these players? Castaneda! Yes! It's Rui Faria! Go on then, lad! Ooh! Petrus Bong. Trying that one-two with Harvey Hall. That worked a treat. Oh, great slide challenge there. Keep up! <laughs> One foot cameras from the resulting corner. It's Charlie Green, it's Harvey Hall! A goal for Lincoln City! Noodle celebrates behind me! Let's go! Usually it's a goal fest, but this one is becoming quite tactical. Keep running, you go! And now play to Petrus Bong! Yes! And back and back! Play it back, you go, EK! Oh! Goodness. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Do you know the way? The way to score goals. Pass the ball to Bong. What on earth was that? Throw Castaneda control. That is no control, Castaneda. We're doing everything to scrub this clean sheet. Please, boys, just keep it tidy for the last nine minutes. Eight minutes. Boys, we've got this in the bag. My tackle, no. Ow, ow, really? Slide, that'll do, that'll, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, I just can't keep a clean sheet. Agogo's clearly been the best player for Shrewsbury, and if there was someone who deserved a goal, yep, Agogo is that man. It's three minutes of out of time. A chance, maybe. Yuko Ike is going to be onside here. Plays it back. Charlie Green! Oh, no, we're hitting the post. Are you serious? Have we got time for one more attack? Yuko Ike plays Petrus Bong down the line. The cross comes in. Yes! At least we've got the three points. 2-1 victory for Lincoln City over Shrewsbury. Wabba! Let on those go! Once the transfer window opens up again, it'll be Harvey Bailey going off to Morecambe for £185,000. Board willing to allocate one hundred and thirty, so that is, what, £55,000 to buy a new Mercedes. This will be very difficult. It's the third round of the Carabao Cup. We see in Hull City Field, 76 overall, 75 overall, and they've got a five-man defence. I'm going back to the 4-2-4 for this game. Lincoln City against Hull. Local rivalry, of course. Commentators just reminded me of that fact. Ugh. Joel Tawomi, good first touch, 
and a banging effort that's had to be parried away by Marshall. And you're gonna lay on what? You've got a bed right there, and you're gonna lay on the floor. Habe, calm in your own box. Yes, finds the pass to Magnuson, but that first touch. It was absolutely dreadful. Trying to get a real chance for Lincoln City brewing. But so far, nothing. However, Ollie Mason! Oh, that's not Ollie Mason. What am I talking about? Ed Kelly has scored for Lincoln City. Ollie Mason! Am I daft? This is so defensively secure. I feel like I can rely on it. And that's the reason why we've used it for so many years. He's got it. Yes, Maya. Beautiful. What a defender. Ed Kelly with the through ball to Nweke Kingdom inside Joel Tawomi. Now Stefan Magnussen with a long shot blocked. The team just built on counter attack. Ollie Mason, great effort. Taking his time, plenty of Lincoln City shirts available. But Sam Navalny might go for a banger himself. Oh, this has taken it out of me. But Hull City are about to be defeated by Lincoln. There it is. Last episode, we missed out a goal. It was the Peterborough equaliser. I still have the footage, so here it is. The goal that we missed last episode. Cardo. Well, it is an equaliser that looked on the cards, I must say. Rui Faria drinks orange juice because he thinks the concentrate part means that he'll fully focus on the game. How has Niall Rangers still got a club? South End United. Lincoln City. If someone offered me to lose this match, but not concede to Niall Ranger, I would actually take it. That's my distaste for that idiot. Petrus Bong on the move. Passes one. Oh, he is quick when he gets into full speed. Petrus Bong. Oh, unlucky. Well, this worked out first time. Petrus Bong. Oh, man. Petrus Bong might have a little bit of fun today to finish a fine run. Petrus Bong, let's get going. The top goal scorer bags another. Come on, give it back to Niall Ranger. That's it! That's it! Super Cooper! The tackle's lost so timely! Niall Ranger. Oh, he drills it in. Mm, South End equalise so long as it's not him on the end of it. I'm fine, but Niall Ranger does get the assist. I really wanted to chop him up with Isaac Robinson, but the slide tackle did not come in. Mama Wimper, let's throw this goal! It's Zacharias Kiroga, the furthest man forward for Lincoln City. He must wait, he's got to hold it up. It's Harvey Hall! Oh, Smith with a diving save. Castaneda into it. Oh! <laughs> He's a monster in the air! Harvey Hall! Finally, he's developing that aerial presence. They should have had from day one, to be honest. Good strength by the Japanese lad. Just, he started out so weak. Wins us the penalty. Beautiful work by Yuko Ike, I think. I shall give this penalty to Castaneda. Keep his confidence up. Let's take the target off. Castaneda. Lovely! Well done, it's 3-1 Lincoln City, that shall seal the win! This could be another one, Mamo Epa sends Bung through! Bung clear for another, or maybe... Yes! Castaneda! Castaneda is back! We've got MK Dons 2-on-2, two two. and... Oh dear! It's 1-0 to MK Dons! Super Cooper should have been tighter to his man, cutting inside. Losing him altogether, and that finesse shot, well, it was beautiful. No chance for Kude. Harvey Hall can go back to Petrus Bong. He slips it into Castaneda. A great block by Rui Faria. Helps us out, and Castaneda has found his finishing touch. Gets in. Aye, aye. We got Castaneda. Aye, aye. He comes from Venezuela. Aye, aye. The win of the league in May. Just need to show you the block by Rui Ferri here on number two. I just gave Castaneda extra space and he dispatches lethally. Harvey Hall finds Latov Lavici. Look at the numbers back for MK Dons. But will it stop us? I don't think it will. Yes! Ah! Petrus Bong. We played them off the park. It's Rochdale against Lincoln. Villho into the box. Oh, and Kelly! Oh my goodness! 
His good run of form continues. An instantaneous cross by Ilpo Vilho measured to perfection. After Ed Kelly troubled the goalkeeper, there he is, lovely. I think it's also time for me to put on a light in the room. There's the keeper. Oh, Burnson, really. Mama Wepper in the midfield. You just gotta love him. Through ball to Ed Kelly is spot on. Oh, and he's got, he's got the goal. Okay, I thought number eight was just gonna clear that, no problem. But Ed Kelly arrives first and smashes us into a two goal lead. We are playing some beautiful football right now. Will this drop in time for Joel Toomey? Yes, it will. Go on then. Oh, Ed Kelly seeking a first half hat trick. Oh dear. Right, this is definitely rigged because Robinson got that ball and still didn't end up with that ball. And Weke Kingdom and Karoga grace the field as Lincoln City try and see out this game. Joel Tawomi with the diving header. Right, it's Karoga's first duty. He's not done it. That's top corner. It's 2-2. Two, two. How are Rochdale back in this? So at the end of the 90 minutes, it goes straight into a kickoff and we've got Burnson in the net. That's a fine <laughs> oh, I don't like this. Joel Tawomi. Why did it end 2-2? Oh, I can't believe this is happening. And it's with the ABBA penalties as well. So Mamo Epper steps and gets saved. Great. That's good. That's good. Williams against Burnson. Please, Burnson. Yes, it misses. Burnson's trying his best to put these players off. And it's saved by Burnson. All right, we've, we've, we've done all right. I, I can't I put the target back on. We don't deserve to lose this. So the target's going to be put back on, I think. Go on, Vilho. Yes. I'm going the same side. Stefan Magnussen saved. My goodness, what a save that is. Yeah. Oh, Benson, I, why did you dive the right way? Why did you save that? You absolute... Oh, what an idiot. Ramirez. He can put Rochdale through. Oh, yes! Right, we've got, to, we've got to score this. We have to score this, and it's Karoga. Oh, after that absolutely abysmal defending to get the Rochdale equaliser. Yes! Okay, it's sudden death. Ollie Mason. Let's go. Yes! Now we have a chance to win the thing. Let's go, Burnson. Hero, Burnson. Oh, I dive the right way again, Burnson. What are you doing to me? Reese Brown, who scored Rochdale's equaliser. Oh, it's gone over. It's gone over. I was going that way anyway. He's gone over. And it's Maya, who's had a sensational season so far. Let's take the target off again. Come on, mate. You can do it. Yes! Whoa. Not exactly the way that I wanted it to be. But we got through in the end. Well done, Mayat. What an amazing season Mayat's having at the back for Lincoln City. Even though it's sometimes in the cup, he's just a really good defender. And I'm very pleased for him. That was one of the best penalty shootouts that we've had on Youth Squad Legends. I mean, I can't think of anything better than that. That was class. Look at this fixture congestion madness. I'm guessing Ilpo Vilho will not play in the Scunthorpe match. Are we not playing the Scunthorpe match at all? What? Why didn't we play the Scunthorpe match, boys? Why have you done this to me? Roddy Latovlovich has suffered a broken toe. He'll be out for six weeks. I know it's bad news and that, but I mean, look at Roddy Latovlovich in his Romanian shirt. How smart is that? Of course we lost in the game that was simulated. Even though we've got a team like that, we have to lose to keep the league interested. Please do one, FIFA. That defeat to Scunthorpe put us down second. Thanks. It's Lincoln City against Blackburn Rovers. Not too sure if this colour selection was wise, but then again, it would have been better than the blue and white. Yeah! Harvey Hall. There we are. Two minutes in. The first Lincoln City attack. It's Emmanuel Harvey. Ooh. Harvey Hall drops it off to Yuko Ike. Oh, 
There it is. That's the time to put the haiku in the video. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Bong is new Eto. Ike is new Kagawa. Hull is the new Kane. Oh boy, who was smoking that guy at the back post? Kude nearly stopped the shot from going in. That'll drop to Mamawepa, chest control, shots decent, hits the crossbar. Mamawepa's so close. It's mine, Kude punches clear. Oh, Philho, don't let it go through your legs like that. It's deja vu. 2-0 in front, looking comfortable, and now it's 2-all, and we're a bit wobbly. Petrus Bong. Okay, I see Mama Weppa. Go, turn, spin, Castaneda! Straight away! That's a reply! Good response. Aye, aye, we got Castaneda, aye, aye. He comes from Venezuela, aye, aye. He brightens up a Saturday, even though I think this is a weekday match. Come on! Yeah, full time at 3 2. Yet again, shouldn't have been that close. Bong is just a B Tech Matip. Alright, calm down. Matip was just a B Tech Gui. Here's Maya. Oh, he's a tremendous player. Super Cooper was offside then. But my goodness, let's just appreciate how good Maya is. Go on, Ed Kelly. Yes, through ball, Harvey Hall. It's a one goal lead for Lincoln City. And if this stays like it is. We are going top of the table. It's the Lincoln boys making all the noise for Harvey Hall, for Harvey Hall, for Harvey Hall. Super Cooper, beautiful. Oh, yes, I didn't even look at the ball. Oh, it wasn't like Super Cooper. Maya heads it back to Kude. Keep an eye on Ed Kelly. I don't want that injury to become very serious. This is another chance for Mayat to prove his excellentness. Wait, whoa, referee! Right, here's a free kick. Well done, Mayat. Here's Ed Kelly. Yes, and now Harvey Hall had a chance to shoot himself, but we're teasing Fleetwood Town! And even with the injury, Ed Kelly is in the right place at the right time. Unselfish by Harvey Hall, who could have whacked that and surely would have found the net himself. Karoga plays it back inside. Yes. Is there another injury? Oh no, it's Maya! Oh no! Maya has been injured. God, this game has been full of incident. Even though there's only been two goals, I think it's time for Kelly to come off as well. Just play it back, spin, there... Oh my goodness! Joel Tawomi, who's just come on with the worst pass you'll see all season. Oh, let's not ruin this clean sheet, thank you, Kude! The league leaders have been demolished here at home and we've kept a clean sheet with a three-man defense so kelly's gonna be out for three weeks my at oh no my out for seven months that could have massive impact on his development as a footballer let's hope it doesn't but there is serious question marks now lincoln city against rotherham united boys do this for Clifford! That's Mayat's first name, if you didn't know. I mean, I haven't said it that much, to be honest. <laughs> Just a random guy called Clifford. Let's do it for him! Go, Petrus! Go, Petrus Bong! Saved by O'Donnell! Sandoval, yes. Harvey Hall, lovely! Yuko Ike! Oh, he would nearly goal of the season! And he would nearly goal of the series if that would have been nestling into the top corner. It would have been game over for everybody else. Oh, that is super close. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Hentai is the best. Ed Kelly watched it with me. Mmm, anime girls. I think Running's gonna join the attack here. Mama Weppa! Come on then, boys, look at Running! Back heel! Yes! It's Bjorni running! Best chance he's ever gonna get of scoring a Lincoln City goal there. Oh! Hobby slide! No! 
A def that was a definite deflection on Phillips. Tackle. Oh, it's well timed, but Jamie Phillips only sees his good efforts. Make a second goal for Rotherham United. So great defending has resulted in two Rotherham United goals. Oh, boys. 3-0 Rotherham. This is the first goal that they've properly deserved, I guess, with the cross in being delightful. Oh, my goodness. I'd love to know the kind of percentage, the win percentage that we have in this away shirt because... I'm not going to say it's bad luck. I mean, running takes the touch there and just moves it away from Kuda. That's the second time in this match. It's really, really frustrating. The good defending has not been rewarded. In fact, it's just getting embarrassing now. Rotherham United are 4-0 up against the... Well, what were the league leaders? They might not be now. Well, the Lincoln City fans won't want to relive that one in a hurry. It was the shots on target. Rotherham United tested our goalkeeper. They got the look, and they got the look in absolute spades. But how about this for a little pick-me-up? It's round four of the Carabao Cup. We got a transfer offer for Toby Carter. Not really looking at the finances involved in this deal, just a player that we need to get off the books. It's £135,000, so not that bad. A fourth round game in the Carabao Cup, the EFL Cup, whatever you want to call it, at home against Liverpool. That is pretty decent. This is going to be a disaster. Where is Rui Faria going, honestly? Oh no, oh no. That's going to be straight in. Steven and Zonzi, top corner. Liverpool are ahead. Uh, Ollie Mason, shall we go for it? Bogdan reaches out. The Unweke Kingdom from the other wing. Oh, nice skill, but a bad cross. Really bad cross. Oh, my. It's a real shame that we've had to be forced into this, this predicament. The Cup team were doing really well, and they've got still a great chance in the Checker Trade Trophy. Maya and Ed Kelly wouldn't have this. We wouldn't be 2-0 down. It, simple as that, we would not be 2-0 down. And I think, even though it's very early, yeah, Harvey Hall needs to get called into action. Come on, Stefan Magnussen, finish this! And wake it, Kingdom! Let's celebrate this one in front of the cameras. Oh, sweaty and wakey. And Zonzo's got a really good long shot in. Oh, no. I mean, like, that was so obvious, boys. And Zonzo just steamed up. And we couldn't lay a sodding hand on him. 3-1 Liverpool. We are getting torn apart by a Premier League side, but that's what you expect. And Wake Kingdom having a mad one against Liverpool. Harvey Hall has to go back. But I see him. Yes. And again, Stefan Magnussen. No, Joel Tuomi. Come on. We're within a goal. We can do this. Wake Kingdom going to go back. He just bullied Florenzi. On the attack now, Joel Tuomi through the middle. Can he do it? I uh, still, maybe, yes, Joel Tawomi, oh, oh, Super Cooper, Super Cooper tried, but Akadi is one of the world's best strikers, and he just flew past Super Cooper like he wasn't even there, see him off please. It's this time Super Cooper and Jordan then yet again it's that good defending not getting rewarded. Okay, Harvey Hall! Ooh, nice finish! The Lincoln City fans can be proud of our performances in this cup. We'll give it another go next season. Great game of football, consisting of eight goals. The sad thing is Lincoln City was on the receiving end of five. Harvey Hall and Petrus Bonga are in double figures for this season. We are in second, just below Sheffield United, who have had a better start to the season than us. So congratulations to them. Like if you cried for Maya, 17 likes, which means... <laughs> At this point, recording it, 3,000 plus have watched the video, that's gonna go up to 4,000, 5,000, but only 17 of you cried for my app. That's unbelievable, that's unacceptable. Get out. All hail the sweaty and wacky. It's a trip to the Bescott Stadium, it's also against Lincoln. So now that Harvey Hall has levelled it up with Petrus Bong, 
top of the goal scoring tally, 10 apiece, is this golden boot race going to get interesting? The wing back has been able to catch up with Petrus Bonga, is incredible. Mama Wepa waits, releases Ilpo Vilho, the wingers seem to be having a game today. Oh, but the wing bikes are pretty quick. Get him running. And in fact, why are you on this side running? You're supposed to... No, 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 no. I can see what's happened. This is a problem, Harbe. Well played. Well played. Without running there, of course, the right midfielder was going to have a hell of a lot of space and Harbe covered. Mamo Epa with that slow step over. Kind of worked. Kiroga, oh, we did not get behind that one. Keep on passing it around, maybe an opening will happen. Zacharias Kiroga, yes, this time. Go, Vilho, here we are. Oh, looking around, I think Vilho should go himself. Oh, oh. <laughs> great way to open your account in the league this season and an absolute banger. Now he's doing some defending, Ilpo Vilho. This one's crossed to the bike stick. Really troubling. I don't want this clean sheet to go. And it hasn't. It hasn't. No. Oh, running's missed the tackle. No. The clean sheet has gone. <sighs> Stolen by Walsall. Oh, Castaneda just stepped offside. It's finished well, but he stepped offside. Go. Yuko, go. Oh, it's not a great header by Petra's bomb, but we are on the attack here. Get in the box. It'll be Castaneda. Tries to drop it down to Harvey Hall. Roberts has just decided to clear it wherever he possibly could. It's a corner kick to Lincoln. And this time it should be on the head of Harvey Hall. Ooh, ooh, that was disgraceful behaviour. Yes, Mamo Epa. Oh. Head up. Mamo Epa. <laughs> What a guy! It's Yuko Ek. Uh, skills, Yuko! Ek! Ek, Yuko! That one from Tokyo! I say! Haiku me now! Welcome to Yuko Ek's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ek! Mayat's injury. Tavern loss, Waffle Maker. Try to sue culprit. There's Ilpo Vilho. Balls in. Ooh! Yeah, the battery's low already! Obviously, that's Rui Faria's message to me. He was very annoyed not being selected for this first game. But to be honest, I mean, Ilpo. Oh my goodness, please. Ilpo Vilho has had a stunning game. Harvey's had a decent one as well. He's been dominant at the back. Kiroga. Oh, that spin was perfection. Mamo Epa. And now Yuko Ike is on for a second. Saved by Gillespie this time. Maybe, maybe I should have done a finesse shot. Whoo, Harvey Hall gets involved with that big crunch shot. And I think I might have killed him. Quite a convincing win against Walsall. I want some more goals, some more entertainment. So let's keep this up, please. Shutter then gets it back out wide. The cross is so dangerous. Oh, where are they going with this? It's like a back of five at the moment. Alessandro with his second close shot. We are all over the place. We really are. Kude! Heroic by Kude in the first 16 minutes. They've had seven shots. Dear me, we need to sort ourselves out. Sandoval passed it back into our own box. It's Stefan Magnusson! Let's go! First shot for Lincoln City. That's some clinicalness. Stefan Magnusson. There's Ollie Mason going back with Ed Kelly! Oh, he's in the crossbow. What a shot! Sandoval, yes. Tio for Ed Lee. Ho oh, ho ho! Ed Lee has found a goal for Lincoln City. Teed up perfectly by his teammates. Maybe one more goal. I can go inside here. It's Ed Kelly! Pin dropped there. How many saves has that man had to make in the second half? We were all over them. Notts County just torn apart. Seems like we're going to miss the Oxford United home game because of internationals. Now, some people might be questioning me. Why are you still playing these internationals, you fool? We want to watch the league games. I understand that, but I am going to try and cheat my way with Finland into a World Cup finals. And whilst the international games are happening, I have got club news 
news, Toby Carter is off to Ireland. Coventry City against Lincoln City, the final game of this episode. Let's continue this masterclass in goal scoring, Castaneda! Great awareness from the Rui Faria shot. He's just there to tap it in. Oh yes, Rui Faria. Let's have more of your magic, please. Yeah. Penalty kick! Rui Faria is doing all right at the moment! Another Castaneda goal, maybe? Yeah, that's not where I've actually placed it. So long as it goes in, I'm not really going to complain, but this penalty system does need a little bit of tinkering, doesn't it? Ay, ay, we got Castaneda. Ay, ay, he comes to Venezuela. Ay, ay, Matip showed in the way. Oh, it's on Azawa against Yuko. I think we've got a Japanese winger matchup on that side. On Azawa looks up. He breathes a sigh of relief because Yuko Ike isn't on his case. Coventry City have go back and reduce the deficit to just one goal. Well done Super Koopa. He'll start off the attack. Yuko Ike is a great pass by Petrus Bong isn't it? It's his time to perform and show who's the better Japanese winger. Goes inside Petrus Bong. That's what Yuko Ike is all about. You're just a shit Yuko Ike. Shit Yuko Ike. You're just a shit Yuko Ike. Uh, let's go, mate. Yuko Ike off the wing. Oh, Yuko. Straight onto Onazawa. What are you saying, mate? What are you saying? What are you saying? Ike, Yuko. That one from Tokyo. I said. Haiku me now! Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike! Isaac Robinson. He needs to be different. Doesn't know gender. He's off again! Yuko Ike! Can you match his pace? No! Is the answer and he's missed it! Oh wow, Yuko Ike is turning into a monster. Wait me up! Before you go, go, who needs Vity when you go, you go. Two day big throw. Okay, hold that, hold that, wait for it. And play the ball off now. Yuko EK. Oh, they've actually brought on a substitute to make sure that EK is marked up. That is sweet. It's two on one. Is this ball gonna go across or is he gonna take a shot himself? Well, he did take a shot. But the ball eventually dropped to the guy that I was marking. So, yeah, that's a bit unlucky from Lincoln City's point of view. That's definitely gonna be another goal, Willis. The number four, well, I think because he's wearing number four as a defender, has actually done well as Coventry City plow players forward. Attacking Coventry City were not bad at all, but it's like every other team in this league. Lincoln City's attack is just way too hot to handle. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. The Edley Screamer, the Ilpo Vilho Banger, and gone to Finland. Yes, we've still got it. We're applying too much pressure. Berry, oh, struggling, and Sandoval has a Screamer. Get in! Oh, Perry said, we're gonna play him in centre mid. Oh, I can't describe when I see him in the red and white. His hair is fine, he scores belters some of the time. That's why we sing this song for Louis Sandoval. Oh, shh. Whoa. Fair enough. Got to admire this delivery from O'Shea. He completely took Kude out of it. Might have done a bit more with the header coming in. Yeah, Kude probably at fault. Ilpo Vilho, good step overs. Now he's driving into the middle. Oh my, that cross, Mason's volley. If that went in, it would have been disgusting. Ed Kelly, yes. Here we go, and Wicked Kingdom with the shots that we'll forget about quickly. And that will be half time there. It's 1 1. Adakunde has to switch on because he's just leaving Harbe and Robinson with 
Even more stuff to do. Only Mason, you got that. Well done. Ollie Mason, great defending by the winger. Ed Kelly plays it onto Sandoval. It's basically three on one if we play this right. And he's played it offside. Has he not? He's not played it offside. That's fine. It's a wicked kingdom's goal. Get in. I was trying to play it right to Ed Kelly because I knew that he wasn't offside. Obviously, he was behind the ball. Ilpo Vilho looks offside. And he wasn't. The flag didn't go up. So it's 2-1. To Lincoln City. A wacky kingdom scores a goal. He lives in a house, and they're a big house in his kingdom. Abe. Oh, I read that as well. And oh, shade. Ollie Mason. That's it. And Kunde clears. Oh, Ollie Mason's been solid defensively. One Berry to have some of the ball so we can break on them. We brought the. Oh, that's a ball. And he's on onside. Kude. Oh, he's missed it. The shot. Pass Kude didn't go into the goal. Bit of a trip away against Plymouth. The away fans probably having to get up really early, maybe 5 a.m. for this one. Big header by Bjorn running. He's everything Adekunde thinks he is. Go on, Harvey Hall! Ooh. Now a breakaway, and Harvey Hall is magnificently quick. But this guy is somehow keeping on top of him. Oh! Harvey Hall, it dropped right for him. You know, you can't really complain with the shot. To say Kiroga is a central midfielder, there is no sense that he knows how to defend. Like, it surely he should be a camp, if that's the case. Ed Lee is all alone and waiting for options. Castaneda is that option. It's off. The flag's gone up. And I thought that that was onside. I thought Edley had played this spot on and oh, it's close. And there's no real angle to show if he's on or off. Oh, it's goal. Goal written all over it as wild sneaks. The back post, no one's marking him. Plymouth kickers whilst we're down. Licking out wounds from the offside goal. We concede. Edley with the through ball. Worked out. It's Castaneda. I don't know about that first touch by Castaneda. Better pass. Cooper. What a save. Okay. Petrus Bong goes wide. Zacharias Caro. Everybody's on side. Caro can't get the cross in. That's disappointing. Well done, Petrus Bong. We've still got it, though. Spin. Availability. It's Rui for. Oh. What a mess. <laughs> oh, classic Rui for real. Harvey Hall, finish! Goal! Harvey Hall! Yes! Top corner! Yes! Yes! Oh no, that's up! And Plymouth take the lead straight away after Latov Lavici can't control the ball. Chance to put it into the mixer. Zacharias Kir. Re what are we doing there, boys? Why is Petrus Bong going for that and not Harvey Hall? Okay, this is your time. Rui Faria! Yes! We'll forget about your first effort. Well done. Go! Edley, great through ball. It's Rui Faria inside. Yes! Rui hits it! Oh! Drop to Rui Faria in the box! <sighs> Couldn't put any kind of power behind that ball. Castaneda going to the front post. Let's go, Harvey Hall! What a save by Cooper! Ooh, it's another Super Cooper. There's two Super Coopers on the field today. This should be the last attack coming up. All or nothing. It's on all out attack. Yeah, Ollie Mason does well. Okay, Ed Kelly. Get players in the box. Balls in. Oh, it's not a great delivery. But to be honest. Oh, Ed Lee. Oh, what an effort, son. Unlucky. Well played, Ed Lee. It's all right. Two all's a good result away against Plymouth. They've got a strong side. And Ed Lee volley like that to win the game would have been extremely immense. We haven't looked at this youth academy for ages, have we? But there are a load of Ghanaians in here. Want to have a bit of this lad promote to the senior team. We've also got Shola Adu, same overall, 55 with a good potential. And the monster that is Abraham to four at six foot seven with a potential of 82 to 88. So it's safe to say Adekunde's had his chance and he ruined it. Didn't take it, so he's completely out the squad. Mama Wepper on the move. 
And if he gets past this guy with the ginger hair, he's basically got a free midfield. And he just slots it in for Stefan Magnussen. That's 1-0. That is what Mama Wepper's all about. That powerful storming run from the midfield. Easy stuff. Charlie Green, it three against two. And Magnussen, has Magnussen got the... Uh, he's actually got a decent amount of pace. Well played. I don't think he's passed that right. Oh, Mama Wepper to Charlie Green. Wow, Mama Wepper's vision is top notch. Well done, Mama Wepper into four was there. Thomas trying the banger to four again, clearing it out. Ring, ring. I think we've got a legend in the making. This shirt stinks so much. Oh, well, I mean, Harvey has just been caught flat forward there. Will Greg plays a through ball? It's a simple through ball. Harbe instead of pointing a foot out. Oh man, he's got completely burned. Nick Powell's got past Isaac Robinson too easily. Oh, it's a, a driven shot by Max Power. Has put Wigan in front. Oh, tight marking from Wigan though. Can go wide. Who is this? Ollie Mason. Misses. Man, it's a very lucky day for Wigan Athletic. Now it's a good attack for Wigan as we keep players forward. Nick Powell has blasted it home and somehow this looks comfortable for Wigan. I don't believe it. I mean, like, obviously I know what happened. Wigan scored more than us, but... I think the match facts are going to tell a different story. Same amount of shots, less on target. We struggled in possession, interestingly. I thought we had control of the game. So that might close everything up at the top of the table. We can't see that because we've got an FA Cup tie in the second round against Not County. Lincoln have got out a very weak defence. Salawu does all right. Bong's waiting for Castaneda. Oh, chance for Castaneda, he hits it early, he has belted it into the back of the net. It's a good finish by Castaneda. Oh, yes! Roy Ferreira's first team of all of them, the squad numbers worked. A battery died. <laughs> Roy Ferreira does something good and then kills the battery on the controller. Good man! Fine, if you wanted this, Roy, you could have just told me. I'm going to give this penalty to Rui Faria. Now, I did ask you to customise him at the start of the episode, but I beg, if he puts this in, please don't change his squad number. Please don't. We want to see a good Rui Faria and not a terrible one through this series. It'd be nice if he turned his career around, even though he tries to steal the batteries off my controller. Go on, Rui! He's never going to do it. Ilpo Vilho in with the corner kick. Oh, ca oh, Castaneda! Castaneda hits the crossbar with an overhead kick. Oh, that was so close. Please help me. Good finish. Really good finish. We've had so many chances to already kill the game off. I mean, now 1-1. After House smashes it top corner, Burnson no chance saving that. Petrus Bong, go for it again. Petrus Bong, one on one! Yeah! Rui Faria's on the charge! Let's go, boys! Ilpo Vilho, have you got it in you? Oh, what a goal by Ilpo Vilho! <laughs> we still have it here. Yes. I tried the. Dummy with Petrus Bong, but still, look at that play. Kiroga's assist. Petrus Bong has a second, and it's 4 1. Slay that off. We got Kiroga, and now Ilpo Vilho just ripping up this wing. Oh my. Yeah, we'll have another penalty, thanks. Can we have a goal, please? Ilpo Vilho! That's not ex. It's not even the side that I went. I went the same side as I did with Rui Fubi. I missed two penalties. Right, yeah, yeah, I need to sort this out. I did, it's not even, oh God. That was not even close to where I wanted to put it. I shouldn't be this annoyed at 4-1. If I miss a penalty, that's at least the same way as I directed it to go, then fine. But that's not exactly where I wanted it to go. I wanted it to go to the right and it ended up going like 
top left, kind of, maybe central, but slightly to the left. You need to fix your penalty system because it's absolutely terrible. Oh, but I don't know what I will do if you don't fix your penalty system because I'll still buy the game. Of course, I'm a total sheep, and you know that we're total sheep. That's why you don't fix anything anyway. Oh, it had six goals. My team scored four of them. Why do I feel so deflated? What did Perry NG say when his hat fell off? My hat fell off. It really is Rui Ferreira FC. No, it isn't. It never has been. I think Kuroga should be sold next season and then bought back the season after that and repeat until the end of the series. No reason, just for the pants. I thought Portuguese wingers were supposed to be good. Ferreira must have never got that memo. Rest in peace, Adakunde. We hardly knew ye. Apart from your disallowed own goal that was an absolute stunner, but still, we hardly knew ye. It's time for the area semi-final in the Checker Trade Trophy. We got Blackpool against Lincoln. I wanna win this competition so bad, you have no idea. 19 yard free kick, teed up, and running is there to block it straight away. That is an immediate charge down. Joel Tawomi waits, plays the ball in. Yoka Inke! Thank you very much. That low shot underneath the goalkeeper. E.K. Yuko, that man from Tokyo FC! Haiku me now! Welcome to Yuko E.K.'s Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko E.K. Rui for real. He is alone, one on one. It is a goal kick. Go on, Yuko! Go on, Yuko! Record! Switch that to Joel Tawomi. Nice first touch. Ed Kelly will play it backwards to Stefan Magnussen. The play is scintillating. Scintillating! Oh! Harvey Hall on a wing. That means Ed Kelly's in the box. But that one's going to Yuko! Great save. Mafumbi. Stay wide. Stay wide. Yep. Cullen's going to go inside. Book oh, I think he's onside. A uh, goal for Blackpool, bottom corner. It was a total mistake by myself controlling Phillips and not keeping to that defensive line. Keeper, please. Nice catch, Kude. Big throw out. A very impressive throw out. And here goes Harvey Hall. Let's go, let's go, boys. Keep running, keep running. Ed Kelly's on side. Sweaty. You oh, Yuko. Welcome to Yuko Ek's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ek. Rui misses shot. Tries to blame it on Harvey. Wakes up in trash bin. Come on then, boys. Yes. Harvey Hall into the box. Quick feet. Yuko EK this time. It's 2 1 Lincoln City. Yuko EK, baby. Yuko EK. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Last few seconds of this game. We have won it. We're going into the area final, it seems. We have beaten Blackpool by two goals to one. Two big teams in League One. I think Sheffield United are third. We are sitting pretty at the top. We're away at Bramall Lane. Vilho. Nice. Petrick Ball! Rui Faria running down the wing. Everybody wants a piece of Rui. That's because they don't want to concede against him. Oh! What a cross, son! Love that! Petrus Bong on a plate! It's Castaneda. Oh, that's an incredible ball. Ronnie Latsov Levici hits the crossbar. Go on, Petrus. Keep going, keep going, Petrus Bong! Oh! Unstoppable! Very nice! And be Charlie Green to just clip it over. Goal. Beautiful by Charlie Green. Thank you very much. 3-0. Green! Green will tear you apart again. Hang on. Oh, goal. Sheffield United have got one back before half-time as the slide tackle was nowhere near where I actually intended it to go. That'll be the end of the action for the first half. Total domination by Lincoln City. But a decent individual goal 
by Mr. Brooks in the Sheffield United midfield. Wait for it. Play the ball. Oh, look at this. Rui Faria. Can Rui Faria get a goal? Yes, he can. And surveys the field. And decides to go himself and then plays it into Rui Faria. Rui, Rui Faria. Surely not. Rui. Saved by Jamal Blackman. Oh, dear. No! Played it inside and Wicked Kingdom stopped that. What a great piece of defending. Petra Bong, let's go! It's actually quite even in the shot count, but it doesn't feel like it in game. Maybe our chances are just way more clear cut. Uh, yes! Charlie Green pokes it 5 1. To make it 6, is it possible? Harvey Hall! Oh! Penalty, it had to be a penalty, didn't it? It was just shrugged off there. Can we finally now score a goal? It's Harvey Hall. Yes, we can. Nice finish. So a penalty is being converted at the third attempt. Sheffield United just dumped 6-1. Six, six goals by Lincoln City. Well, if there isn't goals in this, then I really shouldn't be a fan of football. Lincoln's strengths are on the wing, and Luton Town are setting up with an incredibly narrow formation. It can only lead to one thing. Charlie Green, yes, this is it, surely. Harvey Hall with the 17th goal of the season. Oh, now then, I think this is gonna spin and stay in for Castaneda to at least try and set up a goal. Oh, Harvey Hall made sure of that goal. It's the Lincoln boys making all the noise for Harvey Hall. For Harvey Hall. For Harvey Hall. <laughs> it seems like Stepovers are the AI's worst enemy. Oh, hello. Oh, no, we still can't put it in. What is he doing? What? He's just playing himself into trouble. Just playing himself into total trouble. Gaston, yeah. Oh, you've got to score that. Rui gets a foot in. But still Bradford have the ball. That is typical Rui Faria defending, really. Play back to your keeper. Well done, Isaac Robinson. The time has come to understand that Mamo has overtaken Ronnie Latov Lovici as the first team central defensive midfielder. Yes, Rui Faria has won the ball, ladies and gentlemen, in his new get-up. Dear me, he looks atrocious. Let's play it to Sandoval. All right. Oh, there, there he is, Rui Faria at his best. No one has broken the deadlock just yet. Oh, no, Ed Kelly. Ed Kelly's lost the ball. Bradford have done it. That is a cross and a half. He's going for the instantaneous volley. Some Salawu slide tackle stopped the second goal for Bradford. Excellent defending and a good save initially. So the full-time whistle blows. Bradford City see out a 1-0 victory over Lincoln. A five-man at Burton Albion defence. Going wide for Yuko to cross in. Bjorni running. That was a shot by Bjorni running. Bless his little cotton socks. Oh, huge by Mamo Epo. He is down. He is hurt. Mamo Epo. Yeah. There he is. There's Yuko Ike. No, Yuko Ike is crawling and still wins the ball. Crosses it. Oh, that is absolutely sensational by Yuko Ike. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. This is a haiku. Ike really likes haikus. Harvey Hall doesn't. Roberts can just give it to Ed Lee. Beautiful, lovely work that by Lincoln City to free up Castaneda for the opening goal just before half time. Yeah! Oh, Super Cooper has done a job, but it's only come back to Burton Albion, who found the top corner. Give this one to Jamie Phillips, and we will work down this wing. Oh, lovely pass that by Petrus Bong. I'm gonna go inside, just cutting it back for Ed Lee. Yes! His shot's deflected into the path of the one and only Castaneda. Harvey Hall 
spins, gives it to Bjorne running, oh lovely skip past one, two, Bjorne running, doing what he likes to do best, his name says it all, Petrus Bong, Yuko Ike, Harvey Hall, let's have some of that please! An excellent finish, a great response. Castaneda, deadly in front of goal, three shots, two goals. I had no idea that we were halfway through this season. We're about to hit January. Lincoln City against Doncaster had to rotate the team again to keep everybody fresh. I'm feeling a little bit more confident with this side though, because Doncaster's centre-backs are dead. It's Rui Furrio. Yes, yes, Magnussen! Good take, just a little bit too far in front of him, the goalkeeper pounced on that. Send these boys down the line and make sure that they don't pass inside. That, that was kind of a pass inside, this is dangerous now, they are playing inside our own box, good save, coup day. Oh, what are you doing? It's an obvious foul. Ed Kelly is in, when did Ed Kelly get injured? Let's go! Ah, oh, you've missed it completely! Well then, Charlie Green, there's a through ball. This is a chance. Joel Tawomi, just cut inside, get that finesse shot going, and it's hit the post. And lucky boys. The sting has certainly been taken out of the game. All I want to do is finish it and see how Ed Kelly is, because any long-term injury is really bad news for him. He was already a low overall. He was kind of old compared to some of the others in the squad with just better overall. I don't really want to see the end of him because I just feel like he's got something special and knows how to score a goal. Come on then, Sandoval. It's all yours, mate. All yours. Good finish. Luis Sandoval. 1-0 against Doncaster. Well done, lads. Rui Ferreira. He wants to go all the way, but can he? Everybody's knackered, including himself. Now, if only you could have injured Rui instead of Ed Kelly. I'm feeling an absolute banger from 36 yards out. Charlie Green. Let's do it, son. Top corner. Well. Oh, uh, dear. No, that's... I got right. Okay, I should not have done the spectacular free kick. Come on! Yuko Ike, find the cross! Yes! Straight on the head of Joel Tawomi! Get in! Yes! Referee calls full time there. It's another three points for Lincoln City. Snatching it at the death. So as you know, we have a foothold in League One. Instead of going through the January games as normal, I decided to take a step back and concentrated on improving the potential of some of the players that we have in the team that deserve to stay in the squad for the entire series. However, none of this went to plan. It's a very interesting video what you're about to watch. Enjoy! This guy's contract is expiring in six months. Six months, but because he's 20 years old, no chance of signing him up. There is a lot of things savoury that are not improved by cheese. Balance is 89 to 99. Oh, we've actually got our first 99 start of the whole series here. And it's Zacharias Karoga who we signed up from Crow Alexandra, he's got 99 ball control. I can't recall ever having a Ukrainian. Is that even how you say a person from the Ukraine? Ukrainian? I've never had one on Youth Squad Legends. Alexander Strandberg. It's almost perfect. Shortlist is bigger than Rui Faria's future. This is true. I think I'm going to open the shortlist and it's going to break the game. Clinton, McConey, and Gongo. I want to shortlist him just because of that name. My name's David Sanjoro, mate. <laughs> Before we do anything right now, I'm gonna have to go back, just step back a bit and save the game up. If I lose this shortlist, I'm gonna cry. Firstly, looking at players that are not our own. Secondly, looking into the squad hub, checking the players without massive potential and deciding which ones should be boosted. We're kind of good compared to every other League One side. So if we're gonna like, sit back, not really concentrate on the games, 
and more concentrate on the progression of these players, then now is probably that time. I need to make sure that I don't ruin the squad. But it'd be nice to bring in a, a fresh face or two. Who was in charge when the name of this guy had to happen? I was going to say that I'm not signing people because of their nationality, but I found a person from Chad in the French League. If that guy's got decent weak foot and skill moves, we might be onto something. Why? In the edit player section, can you not change the hairstyle? Because firstly, it would eliminate the problem of the player face looking nothing like the guy. We could change the hairstyle to make him look kind of similar. And secondly, footballers are erratic. You know they're gonna have different hairstyles. Look at Pogba, he has more hairstyles than assists. Six foot one Ghanaian striker showing great potential. I guess if we are gonna do a roundup on the best players in the save, I really should look at all the big, big leagues that could potentially bring back someone. This guy's a leader of men. Rocky Shoofs. Stick him in the shortlist. Lucas Lux. Sounds like a superhero. German Moosh. That's obviously the superhero's villain. I want to show you guys something as well. If we go onto the championship and press submit search, two from, I'm presuming, well, that, that's a Comoros flag. Am I correct? They're both called Shaka Abdu. They're both playing Full City. How weird is that? We are done here. The shortlist is complete. The game has not broken just yet. I haven't pressed the transfer hub. So this is it. Is the game going to crash? We're going to press the transfer hub and we're going to talk through all of these people that are just put on the shortlist. This is basically the best of the rest episode. And then we'll decide who we should really think about, consider signing from this shortlist. And I say shortlist, it's long. I really did think it crashed, but it has finally loaded the thing up. My goodness, I thought that was it. I think everybody is in here. It took a hell of a long time to load up that list. You can't scout them from your shortlist. You have to go and search them again. What is this game? David Sanjuro, mate, is actually a really decent player. This guy's got one trait. We don't know what that trait is. Uh, skill dribbling, apparently. I totally understood that that blank hexagon was skill dribbling. One club player. Thomas Apare, some decent skill moves and weak foot, hello. If he's got that fondness for Lincoln, he'll never want to move. We're not going to have a best of the rest episode. It's too difficult. It, it's not happening now. What we're going to do is remove the players that we are never going to sign up for Lincoln City. So right at the top, we've got a five foot nine right back. Firstly, we don't play right backs. Secondly, right midfield kind of is Yukoike's spot and you're never going to have it. If he's going into centre-back, he needs to be more than 5'9". Two-star, two-star, Gaston Marquez, get out. Oh my god, I was just about to get rid of him. <laughs> oh, what the flaming hell is that hairstyle that looks like he's got a mop and stuck it on his head. Ah! There's a guy from Chad that I put on this shortlist just because he's a guy from Chad. Oh yes, what's Lux? Lucas Lux, two star skill moves, two star weak foot. That's pretty disappointing. Three star, three star, he's 64 overall. How do we already know his overall? Oh yes, because he is the one that we scouted early. Well, 64 overall at 19 is definitely workable. Anyway, this is the lad, boys. Justin Duarte is a 76 overall playing for St. Etienne. Give me luxurious, sensational. I mean, his hair is not too bad. That is definitely some standout hair. There's so many solid wingers and we're left with Rui Goddamn for real. We must make sure the Lincoln City team still has that character about them. We don't want to alienate anybody that wasn't in the stream saying, oh look, we've just changed the side completely because that is not fair. I actually rated his performances in the first half of this season. He did okay, not like the old Burnson. So is that enough to warrant extending his contract for a little bit? I think so, even if we're bringing in another goalkeeper, Burnson third choice, 
doesn't bother me. Super Cooper's potential is less than 80. This one we seriously need to do. He's already 20 years old. He's a quality player. He's the best defender at the club. I don't care. Mayotte's really, really solid. Harbe has his moments, but Super Cooper is on another level. Castaneda is the heartbeat of this team. Castaneda is everything. You look at Castaneda's nose and say to him, you don't deserve to be in this squad. Because he'll poke your eye out with it. Yuko EK, criminal. How is this guy only showing great potential? He has been sensational. What the hell are we going to do with Ed Kelly? The good news is that he's only 18 years old. The bad news is everything else. Blackburn Rovers against Lincoln City. It's League One action at Ewood Park. Of course, when I'm streaming, it would be the match where there's snow on the ground. That means that the stream is going to be all over the place. Go on, Mama Whipper. Just loves that passing. He's been watching videotapes of Malachias Jr. Come on, Phillips, this is all yours. Oh, great little block there by Jamie Phillips. It'll be a Blackburn corner. Come on, running. This will be a one-on-one -on -one chance. He's hit the post. Puts it in second time around. Just dropped perfectly for him, even with the pressure of running. We're missing... The expertise of Yuko Ike. Let's go, boys. Yes! Harvey Hall hits the post. Defensive work, Yuko Ike. We love you so much. Let's go, mate. Let's go! Yuko Ike! Harvey Hall, nice step over. Get the ball through! Oh, and Castanier has missed it. How have we not scored? Marked up well, Yuko Ike. Harvey Hall, good step overs. This time, yes! Yes, finally! Why have I got my sunglasses on? You can't see me. Who wins the league in me? Look at that. It's so obvious that that was the ball. How are they 2 1 up? How are they 2 1 up? Good header, Super Cooper. Let's go again. Mama Wepper. This time, Petrus Bone skips past the tackle. Yes! It's a wicked. Oh, give it up. Morton's got all the time in the world to run this clock down. And somehow, Blackburn have won that game. Next up, Lincoln City, Scunthorpe United. Go, Rui. Do you have any understanding of the overlap? It's Rui for Rio. And still Rui for Rio. Yes. Help me out then, Rui. I swear Rui Faria is quicker than that. Rui Faria has just let that goal in. Look at this. What is he doing? What is he doing? He's not helping out the defence whatsoever. Well done. Joel Tawomi is doing jobs defensively. Yes. This is it, surely. Oh, what on earth is that? I was aiming from post. Rui Faria goes in. It's to four. Mm. Yeah, big man. To four scores his first ever goal for Lincoln City. That's a looper. Let's go. Let's go. Abraham to four. Banging that. Oh, it's straight to me. It's a great header by Roberts. Ed Lee. Oh, my goodness, Ed Lee. That is how you break the deadlock. Ed Lee has absolutely came that in. First goal in League One. What a goal, son. What a time to get it. Assist leader Castaneda, targeted by DC United. Oh. We've got a loan offering for someone that I've not put out listed for loan. Rui Faria, the type of guy to wear clothes in the shower so he can wash himself and his clothes. Yep, only four days and two and a half hours. Why is that? Well, I've been looking around the place, got my short list all set up, and now we're just waiting for someone to take one of our players on loan to help us out, but it's not happening. Unbelievable. What's the best way of loaning out players in this game? Look at Castaneda's nose. Well, the whole idea of this stream was to try and boost up some of the potentials of the players. There is a message. It's another loan offer for Peter Roberts, who is not listed for loan. <sighs> transfer offers do need to occur way more often. The fact that we can't get one single transfer offer in 
There's people listed out for transfer, listed out for loan, and the only loan offer that we've got is for someone that hasn't been listed for either. This is the reason why I started live streaming in the first place, and now uh, I've realised that I can't do it because the game just doesn't want me to loan out any players. This is Super Koopa. This is a great, great acquisition for anybody. We've got a message coming up. Not press conference. Not an offer for Super Koopa. We need a proper in-game editor that allows you to change the potential of the players, change appearances, change everything about your players because after all, it is your save. We could do something like Dare to Dream with Djibouti on a FIFA game if that was the case. It would be perfect. We're not going to get a deal in for Super Koopa. So let's just go straight into the transfer hub and try and sign a couple of players. I'm looking at forwards. I don't think Joel Tawomi is strong enough as a striker. I think Yuko Ike is better wide. So is Oli Mason. A couple of them wingers that I've tried to pull up front are just better in wide positions. I'm hoping we can go for Thomas Apare and also Nicholas Bursting. His valuation is 2.95 to 3.8 so that's that's a big player 70 overall at 20 years old EA need to remember that they are a games company and not a gambling firm that is unbelievably accurate they want a right back okay that plays into our hands because now we can offer this De Silva kid that we don't want but we have literally no wages to work with where's that CDM with the amazing hair Paidao Esso for Unzeza it's a CDM for a CDM it's just a straight swap we'll try and not laugh at the hair. Oh, it, I've gone. I've gone already. Nah, your hair is ridiculous. Look at that. What? Man, that's a lot of wage. I can't really do much because the agents just do not budge. We're all eager to see him join. And just like that, we've got rid of a player. We brought one in. And Zeza is 68 overall at 5 for 8 CDM from France. Adekunde is very unhappy at being transfer listed. Sorry. You know what the most amazing thing is? When you get out of a transfer window, all of a sudden everybody wants your players. Do we really need Rocky Shoofs though? It could be a way to get rid of Rosanan. Tell me in the chat right now. Is is it transfer takeover time or is it not? The squad ain't gonna change that much. We've already said this, we want that core squad to remain the same, but we do have Deadwood in the team. We found some interesting players that everybody wants to see in the squad and we all agree that this is the right thing to do. I don't wanna be doing it if people are like, oh, the series is ruined now, because the series ain't gonna be ruined. I'm not gonna be spending all this money. We've got an 84 overall goalkeeper in this uh, shortlist. I'm not going to be spending it on that 84 overall goalkeeper. I'm going to be spending it on players that are going to grow with us. That's it. Item redeemed. No going back now. Yes, we are going to sign up Rocky Shoofs. Uh, this kid wants to be an important player in the squad. Interesting. Really is more going to be a rotation player, but we'll accept. If he's unhappy at the club, then I don't care. Straight in with a five-year deal, and now it's me to sort out the wages. This is scary. Wages are about 10,000. Does that sound about right? They're insulting. So the first time we're actually making some progress transfer wise, we've got Thomas Apare signature on a piece of paper. The sad thing is we've had to simulate past the Aston Villa FA Cup game and for the first time we lost the match. All them other times we simulated beat Aston Villa no problem but we are now out of the FA Cup. However it's all for a good cause because Thomas Apare is a Lincoln City player now with the silver going the other way. It should not take this long and this much trying to just get things right. We've not looked at the free agents. Our oh, Prince Samba, of course. He should be one that we sign, no matter what kind of overall. I'm not too sure how these guys are gonna get to 80 overall, really. I'd love them to. I'd love them to be part of the team, part of the whole idea that we've got here at Lincoln City, but quite honestly, they're just here for a good laugh. 1,100 with a signing bonus of 14,000 pounds. It's Prince Samba in Lincoln City. They've got video on 
Apare signing, but Prince Samba has gone under the radar. That means Prince Samba is only like 56 overall. A 60 is not that bad, come on. Give them Eric Adekunde, which would be an amazing swap, let's be honest, because Eric Adekunde is an exciting prospect player. He's just fallen out of favour. They want a right back. Are you daft? You could just stick Eric Adekunde at right back and he'd do a good job for you. It's took a while, hasn't it, lads. Previous one for the future on the breaking news section. Totally looked past by me, but you guys found his name hilarious. He wants £1,400 in wage. Rocky Shoots is a Lincoln City player. And doesn't he look happy about it? Can we get a little video on Rocky Shoof signing. Yes, we can. FC Dallas accept £400,000 for Rocky Shoofs. The Chad lad is the next one up. I don't have a clue how much money they'll want for him. He's a 64 overall. I think he's 64. He's around that ballpark. 19-year-old from Chad. Or Romania. They've got the same flag. I'm just going to guess. With that name, he's from Chad. Fair offer for Altama. 800000 I'm okay with that. Sarnar Altama. His wage was £5,400, which is kind of extortionate for someone of low overall, but I expect him to be banging in some goals for me. Apare is solid. 70 overall. He's really quick. He's a one-club player. He's weak for his four stars. His skill moves is three. This could be... A Ghanaian Adam Pond that we've just brought in. Altama is from Chad. You can have Justice Rosanen. We'll take the really bad goalkeeper off ya. The only left winger that I've got at the club is Rocky Shoofs. No. Mm, sorry, Justice. Bye bye. We'll forever miss you. Not really. Bye bye, Azakiwe. Much love. Bye. Yachenko has recently joined this club, so he's not moving. It's great news for Charlie Green, isn't it? There's Fabio Keller. Potentially 75 overall. That's a very high rating. I'm not getting the best goalkeeper available because this guy is always going to be behind Kude anyway. Before we sign him up, we need to give him a shorter name than that. And I think we should just go for Nuno. All of a sudden, we got strikers in. 2.2 with a sell-on clause of 13%. Remove sell-on clause, submit offer. 2.35 million. And Weki is now the owner of the football club. And because he has a kingdom, he can just plow his money into this football club. 12.5 thousand on Burstings wages. Not gonna mess about with it. <laughs> We've been streaming for such a long time. Would you like Eric Adekunde? <laughs> No one wants Eric Adekunde, and he seriously, seriously needs a club. Oh. 10.8 is not a lot for the goalkeeper that we're just about to sign. 13.5, that's fine, I'll take that. This is a massive signing. We've signed a top player, apparently, even though he's definitely not as good as Kude. He's 76, which is surprising, but still not as good as Kude at 77. So the last thing that you wanted me to do was get a center back. Now immediately I go straight to Dominic Ninkovic. 2.65. And then a 15% sell-on clause that I'm going to count out, remove, submit. This transfer sum is going to go even higher at 2.85 for a 19-year-old centre-back. It's accept. That's the deal done. Now we've got to get the contract sorted. That's the same face as Perry NG. Not the manager Perry NG, but the player Perry NG. If he's around 70 overall, 7,000 pounds. Absolutely banged on the money, 7,000 pounds. Our highest rated defender is 68. That I'd, mm, technically, no, it's Harvey Hall at 77, but our proper defenders, it's 68 Jamie Phillips. So anything near 68 is a good signing. I'm just trying to defend myself if this is under 70. A 71? Oh my! I'm gonna have a look one more time at this transfer hub, but I think we are done. I don't really want to release Adekunde. He's too good to release. He just wants another club. He's well worth a different club. I'm sticking true to my words. Occasionally they'll get a game, but I'm not starting them all at the same time. This is the old boys team, not these new you guys that we've just brought in because of the transfer takeover. We'll play a couple, we'll enjoy their company, but it's not their team. Castagnana with the chest control. Oh, that is an effort. Slow down in the rain. 
Nuno keeps hold of it. Cro this is a delightful cross. Oh, it's Prince Sambo! Oh my, it's Prince Sambo! How can... As if Prince Sambo scored the first goal out of all them people. Watch him down the line, Jamie Phillips. Yuko Ike with them stepovers. Foot roll inside. Yuko Ike. Oh, nice feet before the shot. Track him, track him. Oh, Jamie Phillips has lost his man. Ah, all the concentration was on the left-hand side of my defence. And the ball was played on the right. Jamie Phillips, flat-footed, 1-1. One, one. Oh, well done. Super Cooper's first action is to lift it over his own crossbar. That is iconic. They've all been really close games. I mean, fair play to Peterborough. They have done their business all over my face. If none of the signings can do anything now, then we're in trouble because most of them are on the field, if not all. Lincoln City against Mansfield in the league. Then we've got a checker trade trophy match coming up. Really important, won my first team for that. Nuno's on his way out wide, but can anyone help him? Does he need help? Nuno has blasted it opposite corner. Woo! And there is your introduction. I think that was Prince Samba. Expected from the 60 of... Oh, Keller. I didn't ask him to come out there. Oh, ball. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. What? A... I mean, this is the second time in the stream that a shot's gone straight back to the guy after hitting the post. Apare. Okay. Chance, maybe. Lincoln City. It'll be Sandoval. Luis Sandoval. Another deflection. It's taken a nick of bursting and we're back in it. I've had a horrible run of luck. Can't really point it on certain bad performances. It's a 3 2 loss against Mansfield. This should have been an easy win. Might not sound massive, but this is bigger than the Premier League, the Champions League, because it's the area final of the Checker Trade Trophy. Good shrug. Castaneda crossing in. Oh, let's have that. A targeted man. He's no more. Harvey Hall, after two, he's disappeared. That's how magic he is. Oh, lovely. Go on then. Bong on the... Oh, Bong! He's not going to strike any better than that. That was an absolute rocket. And it makes Ed Lee's look a bit amateur. Didn't really commentate this because it happened so quick. But watch this. Watch what running does. This is what he brings to the team at centre-back, yeah? If I just slow this down, this ball is going to come in some speed. Hit the crossbar... Mm, stanchion and he just takes a little touch there and takes it away from number, number 11 great defending mark him up in the middle Jesus I mean that was bound to happen wasn't it it's 2-1 now and it doesn't look as dominating as what it should really that's good enough but there's a hole in our defence now running please please oh it's gone straight to him again this is absolutely ridiculous. And I'm pretty sure the Checker Trade Trophy goes into penalty straight away. I do not want that. No. Not the Checker Trade Trophy. That's it, isn't it? We're out of the Checker Trade Trophy. Idris Kanu, two shots, two goals. That is a joke. We played so well for like 70 minutes. Lost it completely. Look at that. How much more dominance do you want? They had four shots on target all game. Oh, it is two legs. Fruity, it's two legs. Fruity, I could kiss you. Since it's only Barnet, between us and that second leg, we'll go up to the ninth. But we're not going any further. Lincoln City against Peterborough for a chance to play at Wembley, I'm guessing. Oh, it's, it's a goal. It's a goal. Great. Excellent stuff. Well done, boys. Be Charlie Green. Oh! And of course, when we hit the post, it doesn't fall to one of our guys. Charlie Green, through ball there to Castaneda. It's a bad one. It really is terrible. Harvey Hall. Oh, come on now. 
You had enough space there to line yourself up, not get it caught underneath your feet. You know where this is leading. This is not mine to win. Well done, Castaneda. This is it. This is the chance, Yukawike. Yes, that's it. That is what we need from Yukawike. Finally, he burst to life, and that gives us a massive chance. Go. Yes. One, two. Yukawike and Harvey Hall. Mmm, that's much more like it. Apparently there's away goals in this as well, so we are now in the lead. Breakaway. That's a good chip. That's going to be Harvey Hall's all day. Oh! Another injury. Falling like flies, Mamawepa's won the ball. This is huge. Well done, Mamawepa. Castaneda will hold it. Oh, Harvey Hall's missed. This time, Mamo. Yes. Oli Mason, okay, back to Mama Weppo. Yeah, get it back to Mama Weppo. Everything through Mama Weppo. Everything through. Oh! How on earth did that not result in a goal? Just smash this. Latov has your aerial ability, Castaneda. It's good enough. Harvey Hall will press. And that will be the end of that. And from what I believe, we've just gone through on away goals. Check a trade trophy final against Luton Town at Wembley. Bond's going to be out for about three weeks with that sprained ankle. Table's looking like this at the moment. We've dropped off top spot. Sheffield United are up there now. Two points clear. Thank you ever so much for everybody who's been watching me over the last six hours. There's been six hours of recording. I am drenched in sweat. I hope you guys are as well, especially with that last game. That last game was two tenths. That will fall to the feet of Nweke Kingdom. Then goes inside to Ed Lee. Yes. There's Harvey to Magnussen. Good quick feet by the Lincoln City boys and Ed Lee has smashed it home off the post. What a cracking little finish. I do like my box-to-box -box midfielders, the ones that can do both if needed. Oh, what a finish. All right, well, we had a great first half, but we're going to have to go back into the dressing room level pegging. Vilho had the impossible job of trying to defend that. I mean, how, what can you do? Seriously. Last action of the first half, that equalise out, so straight on it for the second... Will be Ilpo Vilho. How's your first touch? It's it's just perfect. It's immaculate every single time. Think he's on side, Stefan Magnussen. Can't head it back in, but it'll drop to Ilpo Vilho. It's Emmanuel Harbe who scored! Emmanuel Harbe has scored his first ever goal for Lincoln City! It's on the head with a dinner play. Emmanuel Harbe. Hit on the head with a roofing sleigh. Emmanuel Harbe. Hit on the head with a sewer crate. Emmanuel Harbe. Oh. Oh, it's a proud day for Lincoln City. Vilho with the throw in to Stefan Magnussen. Now Emmanuel Harvey. This is wonderful work. Yes, Solly Mason on the slide. That should be game over. Interesting, exciting football with Emmanuel Harvey. The historic goal by the helmet man. Oh, by the way, yeah, Harvey Hall is about to reach 99 heading accuracy because he needs to be more OP. I don't even think that needs changing. Let's get straight on with the second game. It's MK Dons against Lincoln City. This is a big game for Charlie Green and Ronnie latov Lavici. They're both on the verge of dropping into the abyss. Vilho is wanting Yuko Ike to run forward. He spent a long time holding that ball up, but eventually we have it now in the box. Harvey Hall! Ooh, totally outrun, boys. I don't want to drop you, but I, you leave me with no choice if you like this. I just feel like they don't glide around the field like the other two do. It's a goal, yeah. I mean, I'm having trouble with this midfield. The other two, it just feels and looks so easy to them. The same really can't be said with Ronnie Latov, Lavici, and Charlie Green. I mean, Latov, Lavici is right there. He's not even near the guy when he tries that clearance. We're going to see the quite incredible Dominic Ninkovic. In this second half, Luis Sandoval has also replaced Charlie Green. Ninkovic, good tackle. First involvement is solid. That's a decent ball. Sal's on side. Sal scores. 
It's as simple as that. He just places this front corner. Kude really should have got his angles right there and should be covering that kind of shot. Where's he going with that pass? Thankfully, we've kept hold of it. Castaneda. Now Yuko Ike. Come on, mate. Yuko Ike. You can go alone, maybe. Yuko Ike. Oh, beautiful work by our Japanese winger. All the time was looking up, trying to find someone in the box, but no one answered his calls and he just kept on running, bobbing and weaving, eventually had a chance. He completely bewildered the goalkeeper going that side instead of across the goal. Defender don't like him. Yuko Ike, Yuko Ike. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Rutherford B. Hayes, the worst president ever. He's not Hamilton. Okay, help me out now. Oh, Yuko Ike! Oh, Yuko Ike! Oh my goodness! What a finish, son! Man's on fire! What a guy! <clears throat> Ike Yuko! That man from Tokyo! I say! Haiku me now! Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike! I peed on the eggs. I fertilized a big one. Kude married me. Oh, now we're gonna break. Vilho waits. Yuko Ike could get a hat trick. Go, Yuko! Go, he's very tired, Yuko Ike! I've gotta take the shot there. Next time we get a hold of this ball, referee's gonna whistle. So this is the last chance for MK Dons to do anything. And Ennis has equalised right at the death. So I wondered with the tucked in shirt if Ennis was a regen. And he is. So he scored against me and I think that is the first regen to score against me in the whole series. We didn't even have a chance to get up the field and respond to that late goal. Altama against Kierman. We've got bursting just behind. And now Prince Samba for his second goal for Lincoln. Prince Samba is making one hell of a name for himself. I want my subs to come on. Get that thing out. All right. It's time to welcome back Ed Kelly. And this guy can finish. This guy can teach the new strikers around him how to put it into the back of the net. Yes, bursting. This is a chance. Ed Kelly's around. Ed Kelly! Oh, we'll end the game with a headed shot. It would have been glorious, a great story if his first touch was to put it in the back of the net. Yuko Ike. Yep, didn't expect him to go back into the wing. Oh my, Yuko Ike to Sandoval. And gets it again, Yuko Ike with the quick feet. What is this guy turning into? Rui Ferreira. Yes! Defensive work by Rui Ferreira, everybody! He gets a lot of stick because Yuko Ike is so very clearly better than him on the other side. But let's be honest here. Rui Ferreira isn't that bad compared to, say, Charlie Green and Ronnie Latov Lovici. Because they are big disappointments. But they don't get so much stick because they have nobody to compare to apart from the guys that we've compared them to in this episode who have been playing far better than them. It's 1-1. One, one. I know you can't operate at full speed all the time, but this front three have shown what they can do for a consistent period over the first half of the season, and then the second half, they've just broken apart. They don't feel like the same attack. Right, we finally got a chance to try it out. It's the fifth game of this episode. Ed Lee, Mama Weppa behind Castaneda, Harvey Hall and Petrus Bong. Rotherham United against Lincoln City. If anything's going to kickstart that attack, it's the changes that we've just made. Rotherham United have got nine players back at the moment. We've got Ed Lee. Yes, through ball to Petrus Bong. I want some goals, but just getting through that amount of red shirts is so difficult. And I don't know if it's the new patch that's done this. In fact, to be fair, I hope it's the new patch that's done this, because it means that the AI actually know how to defend for once. Probably for the first time since. Are you serious? I just hope it was a patch that did this, but I know it's not. 
It's the AI trying hard because we're just the very, very good club for this league. Get through the sea of red. Harvey Hall! Yeah! It's just absolutely genius, this. FIFA knew that there was an international break in March, so they left a little gap for league games. The only problem is that they put the internationals on the 23rd and 26th when we're playing three league games. Oh, straight down the middle again. This time Cole is not going to miss. Well, we had our warning and we didn't deal with it accordingly. Oh yes, he is quick and he plays a good ball to a wiki kingdom. Unwiki kingdom has scored. Hobby just got absolutely burnt by Bell. Look at this cross. No one around him. And Burnson did a good job to stop the first attempt, but it's gone straight to Cole. And it's 2-1 to Fleetwood Town. You're all getting shown up by a Nweke kingdom. According to Wikipedia, Nigeria became a British protectorate in 1901. British. Colonization lasted until 1960, when an independence movement succeeded in gaining I, Nigeria. I, I already know the answer, thank you. So there's no communication barrier, it's just the Pare doesn't understand the passing game. Be more like Ninkovic. I'm gonna just pause to the sword. Oh. We've got issues at half time that need addressing. Ed Kelly moving forward once again. Please finish it this time. Yes, Ed Kelly. He's reduced the deficit. It's a good, high goal scoring first half. Cole is too quick. No, no. And Wacky Kingdom's got no chance. The free kick is over the bar. We can still get something from this. Burstin has the ball. Yes. Yuko! Oh! Hmm, what a guy. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Habe played striker. Bong was really furious. He ate my sushi. Find you, Koike! It's a one-on-one -on -one situation! Can you, Koike, get there? Oh, he could as well! Burst in! Holds it! Crosses! A parry this time! Force that ball in, boys! It's Harbe! We have no time to be ultra defensive now. It's all out attack football here. It'll be Yuko Ike against three defenders. Please, Yuko! No! He can't pull another miracle out the bag. Cole is too. Oh my goodness, are you serious now? <sighs> Cole is just too much of a handful. And what kind of answer am I supposed to give to that? It's all right, boys. Ed Lee and Mamo Epa are gonna show us the way. Lincoln City against Plymouth. Castaneda. The partnership is back. Harvey Hall. Yes! Well, this is gonna drop nicely to Ed Lee. Can he score another belter? Oh, yes, he can! Ed Lee is a master of the long shot! This is a very good solution to a problem that has been plaguing me for a couple of episodes. Because it's a very quick one as well. Oh! <laughs> Free kick is up and over! That is full time! The relief is immense! Come on, Lincoln City! You can do this now! We've now got World Cup qualifiers! Bulgaria and Ireland with a Wigan Athletic game in between that's gonna get simulated. And it's a double win. Almost forgot to send the Finnish scout out. Mm, that could have been an issue. Dennis Agimang wants to come out of the youth squad. Now his potential is really sound at 81 to 87. So even though the squad is quite full and there's plenty of options to pull up right back, we're going to sign him up. The other guy, however, he will be released. Sorry, mate. Right, so I'm back. It's Saturday and we are playing Oxford, but it doesn't look like we're actually playing Oxford. Looks like that was a 2 all draw. Yes, away from home. It's not the worst result. One, Hobe. I don't even know why they're trying to go through the air. Well done to four. Wins it very high up. Yes. Nuno's in. Nuno is in. I don't know why they were putting their hands up because it was definitely on the side. Can't finish. Vilho. Good head up. Kiroga. Come on. We found a way. Ed Kelly. Oh. Ed Kelly. Yes. 
Surely that's the winning goal. It's been such a tight contest. There once was a man named Petrus. He ran like a chicken, headless. His last name is Bong, he's better than Shane Long, and spends his nights playing Tetris. That comment was amazing. Yeah, I totally agree. Well, this is ballsy. Someone's predicting the future with their haiku, so I am going to use it. I will use it even if Yuko EK doesn't score in the Checker Trade Trophy. Okay, you ready? Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Yuko scores again. Checker Trade Trophy is won. The drought has ended. Top goal scorer of the competition is starting out for Lincoln City in the final. No, it's not Harvey Hall. No, it's not Castaneda or Petrus Bong or Rui Faria or Yuko Ike. Not Ed Lee. Stefan Magnussen is top goal scorer with four goals. It really has been his tournament and Ed Kelly's as well. He's on the bench, slightly tired from his outings recently. A trophy we haven't lifted for four years, four proper years. Last time we had this was in FIFA 14. Come on, boys! Hi there, everybody. Big day today. Silverware is at stake. It's the final of the Checker Trade Trophy. I'm Martin Tyler, and along with me is Alan Smith. Lineup is as follows. And today's Number match for you, Luton seven. Town versus Lincoln City. Lee. Number eight, Ollie Lee. Number 24, Martin Duff. Number 18, Nick. This is the starting lineup today. Number 19. Well, it's 4-4-2 four, four, for them today but we think the middle four might be a diamond, Alan. Yeah, and it gives them a bit of solidity in the middle of the park. And I think uh, the onus is on the fullbacks to provide the width in this shape. Lincoln City will line up like this. on the referee for you, Lee Collins. I love how it was Petra's bong motivating everybody as they huddled up. I tell you something, after nearly losing it against Peterborough, we're not going to lose it against Luton Town, that's for sure. It's also the competition that really showed how good Ed Lee was before he started turning into a long shot machine. Here we go, long shot by Harvey Hall. Oh! Wow, that was about as pinpoint as you could put it. And I think because of the shadows, you weren't able to see it properly. I couldn't really see it that much. These stupid shadows. We need an instant replay on that. Harvey Hall has scored a belter. Oh, it is up at 90. It is absolutely sensational by Harvey Hall. What a goal, son. It's the Lincoln boys making all the noise for Harvey Hall. For Harvey Hall. For Harvey Hall. Usually on these big occasions, I'm saying big occasion, it is only the Checker Trade Trophy, but someone does step up. And he's countered, and here's Harvey Hall going for a second already. He's putting some pressure on Luton Town. Head up is one, and then Harvey Hall takes it down with his noggin, plays it into Petrus Bong. It's two against two. Quick breakaway by Lincoln City, but Petrus Bong's passing has been all over the place. Harvey Hall, oh, -hoo! 
Holy holy, he's on it today! All right, off we go, Yuko EK. There's Petrus Bong. Many, many people flying forward. The delivery is not good enough. Petrus, can we talk about your passing? Luton Town are many men on the attack here. Finesse is no problem for coup day. Rui Faria with the dummy. He's got to keep it in as well, Rui Faria. How good was that? Come on, then. Where's the cross? Oh, he's taken out. Frustration by the wing back. And I love it. Rui Faria. All right. All right. Yuko Ike has the chance. Oh, the haiku writes itself, mate. Defenders don't like him. Yuko Ike. Yuko Ike. Ay, ay. Forget Castaneda. Ay, ay. Because we got something better. Ay, ay. We got Yuko Ike. Yes, Yuko. For a second, Yuko EK. Kept it down. It's a good little shot. This is the moment that we wanted to see. I wanted to play him from the start. I didn't man manage him properly. He had stamina issues. Now he's on the field. Ed Kelly at Wembley. He deserves this. I'm so glad he's recovered from that injury. Bang it. Bang it. Oh, blocked off. Off goes Luis Sandoval. Now Ed Kelly. Go on. Oh, Ed Kelly needs to be further up the field. We're holding it up for him. We need to wait until he's in the right position. This is decent. This... Oh, we're getting there. It's so close. Yes, Ed Kelly. Ed Kelly! Oh, no stopping him. Story written. It was written from the first round. Not that long to go until Lincoln City get their hands on the Checker Trade Trophy. Just want to point out that this game hasn't got the fix that I was talking about at the start of the episode. It's such a significant thing that you probably need to turn it on at the start of a season. And as I was talking about that, Luton Town get themselves a little consolation, something to celebrate from a, a day that's not really been theirs. It's not full-time just yet. Surely when Kunde smacks this ball clear, referee will be happy to put the whistle to the mouth. Lincoln City or Checker Trade Trophy Champions, if that's even a thing. Why would you call yourself champions of the Checker Trade Trophy? Uh, we've won it. We've lifted it. We have been the best side in this shocking competition. But it's a shocking competition that I never win. So that's great. It's been more elusive than the Champions League. Let's watch these scenes. Wonderful scenes of joy here. And no wonder they're milking the moment. They want to make absolutely the most of this. Well, they're a proper team, aren't they? They stuck together, defended really well in this competition and snatched the goals at the uh, vital time. So, fully deserved winners. There they go. They are the champions. It's all part of a very special day, this, isn't it? To go and share the moment with the supporters. Yeah, and I know the family up in the stands too. It's one of those days you do not forget in a hurry. Brilliant scenes here. Well, you have to have the team photo and they're getting ready for it now yeah one of those lovely scenes that you'll hang on the wall back at home did Ed Kelly just smack Magnuson in the face yeah, the oh what an angle for the Harvey Hall goal oh, oh thank you Thank you, FIFA 
for giving me that. Player of the competition is Harvey Hall. I'm dialing 999. I'd like to report a robbery. Ed Kelly has been robbed. No. There you go, 1-0. Just a ball across the box has broken my entire defence. Go! Yes! Apare scored! Yes! Prince Samba held on to it and Zezza gave it to, I presume that's bursting, excellent little toe poke with his left foot. After absorbing all that pressure, Shrewsbury are going to score. They're gonna score! Do you see my problem now? There's a game against Sheffield United soon on the horizon. And between now and then, we need to be grabbing three points basically everywhere. Just to keep it close. I can't believe how far we've fallen since I did that live stream. The January transfer window live stream. It's just ridiculous. Come on, Charlie Green. Through ball, Yuko Ike, all right. Sweaty opportunity, I'm gonna have to take it. I am so sorry. I tell you what, if we do win this league title, we will win it in May this time. Faria's on the charge. Uh, drops the Harvey Hall, wait for it. Yuko Ike, driven low. Oh, Rob, why Rui? Why slide in? Through balls all the time, and this one has worked a tree. Who is this? Yuko Ike doing the defending. Well done, Yuko. Corner kick. Big ol' Yuko Ike. That should be coup days, and it wasn't Yuko. Are you serious, coup day? Oh, I know. I'll just leave it to the really small Japanese lad next to me instead of just collecting the ball. We need to find a goal or else it's game over. Charlie Green has 60% passing. He is so bad. How is he so bad as an exciting prospect? He could be worse than Vitti. I'm sure Vitti had more of an impact. Wait for it, wait for the ball. Yes, Harvey Hall. Ooh, come on, we needed that. Now we have to hold out for 30 minutes. Vilho's using his fresh legs. He could go all the way, Vilho. Cracking save. Touch and go at the back sometimes. Who's this? Lovren just chips it in. It's easy. It's easy for Barbosa. There was no pressure on him. And he just smacked it low. Now we've got 12 minutes to find a goal. How long? Less than two minutes. It's Ilpo Vilho. He's got some fresh legs. But he's been marked. And still marked. But Villa have scored, yes! Oh my goodness! It had to hit both posts on the way in, but we have scored right at the death. Dear me! Even with those heroics, it's looking desperate. Sheffield United with 87 points at this stage. I think we've only got four more games to go. I'm guessing Luton Town and Bury are going to give me a hell of a ride. Sheffield United will probably be the easiest game of the whole lot. Coventry at the end at home. We could just about lift the trophy, but it means Sheffield United dropping massive points at the end and really I don't know if that's possible. We're at Kenilworth Road, all eyes on the Sheffield United result. They are playing... Mm, Doncaster. Ninkovic is gonna kill you. Ninkovic. Well done, Ninkovic. Brilliant chest control and gets it down. Stefan Magnussen, Mama Weppa just sent his man. Okay. Let's get that runner straight through the middle. Stefan Magnussen, how about that for a finish? They're both on side. They're both on side. Sabah El Tama has hit the post. Oh! Luton Town are pushing for it. If we allow Luton Town to score a goal, that will be it. And the Wicked Kingdom gets in the way. Oh my goodness, I'm playing around at the back. This is a nightmare. This is all going to go wrong. Is it Doncaster who they're playing? Oh, finally Ninkovic loses an aerial battle! Oh, Kude! Oh, Kude! Thank you! I do not want another game like that. I think we're promoted. That's why we've got the scenes here, but I want to know the Sheffield United scoreline. This was inevitable anyway. We are going to be playing championship football next season, but we want a trophy at the end of it. Sheffield United and Doncaster drew. 
Calm down. I think the gap is now down to six points with us playing Sheffield United next. Oh man, what a game of football. This cannot compare. They've got five men at the back. I wonder how Sheffield United are gonna play this. Cause I didn't think Luton Town was gonna be so aggressive. They have absolutely no whip up top. So we are going for the 3-4-3. It's Lincoln City against Sheffield United. A win here brings it down to three points and all of a sudden, the huge comeback story is very possible. Mama Wepo, Petrus Bond, now Kasten Yudo! Oh, yes! <laughs> Kasten Yeda! That's it, mate! Aye, aye! We've got Kasten Yeda! Aye, aye! He goes for Venezuela! Aye, aye! He'll win us the league in May! Oh, I could kiss his nose! Mamo Epper has not started this game well at all. His passing's all over the place, and to be honest, it was the exact same last game against Luton Town. David Brooks, seventh goal for Sheffield United this season. I'm sure a lot of that talent in real life should not be hanging around in League One in 2021. Harvey Hall, lovely! I love that! Ed Lee, get in! Harvey Hall has turned provider with a lovely spin and Ed Lee, his rise! How good is Ed Lee? Big ball over the top. Oh no! It's going in! They've just smashed it over the top and with this custom tactic, Rui Ferreira starts off a like deep left back and they've just belted it over my centre back. I really need to look at this tactic and just sort out that mess. Four goals shared two apiece. Petrus Bong and now is it Harvey Hall's turn? It's a penalty! It had to be! Oh my goodness, right, I'm gonna go to the right hand side. There we go, it's 3-2 Lincoln City. We all dream of a team of Harvey Halls, a team of Harvey Halls, a team of Harvey Halls. How many goals? 24 goals for number 24. He's so consistent. Rui Faria, oh dear, he can't defend. He cannot defend, it's 3 all. No, oh, what a game of football. Why is it telling me to take off Ed Lee for Peter Roberts? All right, Mama Wepper's joining in this attack. Maybe he's feeling a bit more comfortable. Kasten Yeda! Great save. Big head off. Well done, Super Cooper. Climbed well. Petrus Bong. Here is Harvey Hall. The skills are immense by Harvey Hall. Here he is. Dragging Lincoln City through this. This looks like an interesting free kick to defend. Come on, boys. Send the balls there. Get it up. Petrus Bong. It's one on one if he takes this well. And he. Oh, he did. He did. Way too well. I didn't anticipate that at all. Yes! Come on! The lead is down to three points with two games to go. And if we didn't know that Harvey Hall had it in him to become as good as Piscopo and Rosenberg a couple of episodes ago, we know now. A belter at Wembley in the Checker Trade Trophy final. He's carried us through this. So I'm going to take my camera off for a second. Goal difference is not looking great for us at the moment, but it is achievable. If we are to win this league title, Sheffield United are going to have to lose a game, so the goal difference will be down by one anyway. We've got to score a lot of goals now, and just hope that some other team will do us a favour. Midweek games at the end of the season. How foolish. We've got Sheffield United against Luton Town being played. Berry against Lincoln City on this side. They're gonna play defensive. We're gonna have to score plenty of goals. I don't know how we're gonna do it. We also need Luton Town to do us a favour, so either draw the game or just keep Sheffield United at bay. Make sure that they don't score many goals. Take it to the last game. Transformation of Stefan Magnussen recently has been outstanding. Standing. Joel Tawomi will try and get it onto the head of Harvey Hall. It's an early goal for Lincoln City. This is good. It'll be Luis Sandoval go down the lines of Harvey Hall. Back to Luis Sandoval. Now Joel Tawomi on the spin. Yes, Luis Sandoval! 2-0! Come on! Surely Sheffield United have got the news. Onside. 
Yeah, I want to know why they're so good when they finally get that opportunity to go forward and score. It's Harvey Hall, he's got Ed Kelly in support, but Harvey Hall wants to go alone because he nearly found that top corner. Clear this thing. Don't let them get another shot off. Two shots. They've had two shots and now they've equalised. Unbelievable. Roberts waits for the run of Ollie Mason. Just get it inside him. No. Anything but what a miss. Yeah, he looks so composed, and then to do that, his teammates won't let him forget that. Well, frustration from the manager. Good ball from Ollie Mason to Ed Kelly. Let's try and get it to Harvey Hall. That was a perfect ball. And how on earth is that not a penalty? Cameron surely didn't get the ball. Harvey Hall's carrying an injury. One game before the end of the season. You can't do this to me. Oh no. Three shots, three goals for Berry. I'm actually heartbroken. And we've got to find a bandage for Harvey Hall because we need to have him fit for the next game and he just won't be. Harvey, Harvey, Harvey Hall, Harvey! Yes, Harvey! Come on, three all, three all, come on! Uh, Holly Mason, uh, Ed Kelly, please! Oh, he's in the post this time! 15 minutes to go! Holly Mason into the box! They've cleared it. We might as well go all out attack now, even though we know that their next shot is going to be a goal. Whilst all this is going on, we're welcoming by Clifford Meyer. He's got the last 10 minutes of this game. A return to fitness, finally. Drops to Latov Lovici. Oh, yes, Latov Lovici. I had to take it. He never scores long shots. Ronnie Latov Lovici is back. Yes. Luton, please do us a favour. We're done with this game. I don't know about the Sheffield United result, but it's going to be unbelievably difficult if they have won against Luton Town now. There really is no words to say. I mean, how can you justify that? Sheffield United won 1-0 against Luton Town, so it does go into the last game of the season and we have to score a ridiculous amount to get anywhere near them and they have to lose their final game. Right, let's do some maths. For us to even win the league, Sheffield United will have to lose the game, which means their goal difference drops to 29. So we need to beat Coventry by a very convincing four goal cushion. Of course, Sheffield United could lose by more than one goal. That would help out massively, but the chances of that happening are really slim and Harvey Hall will be out for two months with a broken toe he was playing with a broken toe I mean fair play but that is garbage oh he still dresses up and parades around with the player of the month even though he's got a broken toe and really should be resting it but it plays into the storylines with Harvey Hall out injured who is it to win the league title in May it can only be Castaneda oh my god a king day please Find something within yourself to smash Sheffield United. It's the final game of the league season. It's Lincoln City against Coventry. Castaneda, run for it. Why is it Mama Weppo running? Penalty. Thank you, Mama Weppo. And it will be Castaneda to take this spot kick. Castaneda will go to the left-hand side this time. Oh, spot on. Go on, win us the league in May, man. Castaneda makes it two. It's still not enough, boys. And I can't be singing Castaneda's tune just yet. We need a King Day and we need him now. Get a third before half time and then we're in a really strong position, especially if Sheffield United haven't got a goal against Barnet just yet. Castaneda. Oh no, forcing it through to Petrus Bong. It's a foul. Ref, keep it in. Well done, Castaneda. Let's go. It's only Vilho and Bong. Sheffield United are 2 0 up against Barney. Oh. All of a sudden, it's got very flat in here. Ilpo Vilho, 3 0. Still going to try and get them four goals as Castaneda. Make sure that it's 4-0. We've done our bit on our side. But I don't think Barnett are going to score three against Sheffield United in one half. Go on, Castaneda. Fourth goal for Castaneda. Oh, Petrus Bong has missed from two yards out. He's done it, Ed Kelly. There's no big celebrations. It's just Castaneda. 
with the match ball. We do not lift the League One title and they won 4-0 to rub it in a bit more. Well, I've spent some time off camera to firstly get my voice back and then try and collect my thoughts for this season that's just gone. I mean, it was a great attacking display. We scored over 100 goals, but we conceded 72. I tried in the time away to sugarcoat what had happened. Yes, we, we've not got the title, but at least we're promoted. There's no point of even trying to be gracious in defeat here. It might mean that I sound like a bad loser, but Sheffield United should not be sitting on top of this table. As much as it's gonna hurt me, at least Castaneda tried to fulfill the prophecy. So from me, thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends and indeed the season that's just gone. I know it's ended in very bitter disappointment but trust me we will get our revenge next time around. If you've enjoyed the video then please give it a like. If you're not subscribed yet then press the red box, press the bell icon for mobile notifications and I'll see you next time.